FlexiBuy payments, offering you extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with the craft store easier. Hi, I'm Abs from Orange Create. I've been crafting for over 10 years now and I love stamping, stenciling, creating layers, colors, textures and creating depth and dimension. Orland Create was established in October 2016, collaborating with a group of designers and artists from all over the world, bringing different designs and products in different styles. We pride ourselves with high quality photopolymer clear stamp sets, dyes, stencils, washi tapes and acrylic blocks, all in different sizes and formats. I hope to bring you inspiration and different ways of using your craft products. Make sure you don't miss the Orland Create shows. Hi, we're the team from Daisy Bee Stamps. My name's Nina, this is Josie, and this is my dad, Roy. And we design and manufacture our very own polymer stamps. All our designs complement each other so that you can use them again and again to create something new. Exciting news! For the fifth year in a row, the Craft Store has been awarded the top accolade of the Platinum Trusted Service Award from FIFO. These awards recognise businesses that deliver exceptional experiences as rated by you, our customers, and we are honoured to have been selected. The Trusted Service Award means you can shop with confidence based on the reviews from over 60,000 The Craft Store customer experiences. Thank you for your independent reviews. It means a lot to us. And good morning, brand new day here at the craft store and we have got a cracking day ahead of us. There's loads going on. I'm kicking things off with a fabulous Stamps Away show and it is a brilliant one. So I do urge you to jump ahead because I know we've been busy before we even came live. So that's Keen for you, isn't it? Talk about Keen, Keen as mustard, our fabulous Ali. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Too bright and cheery for this. Just tone it down. It's Sorry. very early. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Not kidding. Only kidding. I mean, Ali brings us some amazing deals, some phenomenal ideas. And we've got a really lovely set. Now, we've got the details up on the screen already. Now, this is for a set of four templates. Now, these are get in shape cards. Yeah, templates. don't worry. There is nothing to do with exercise. Okay, fair enough then. Okay, you've got my attention now. So, with these, what are we talking about with regards to these templates? So, basically, it allows you to do shaped cards really easily, hence the name, get okay. in shape. Um, and these are something we've done for years and years and years but it's really nice to revisit and see things oh in a goodness, totally yeah. different way because we've got more things now that we can am i allowed to show you how easy they are yeah sure sure right. i mean the thing is with these um if you're thinking about the, the, the things like die cutting machines and stuff like that by the time you've got the die cutting machine out and you've got the dies and things out i mean are these quicker no, I think so. Okay, so right. So here, it. they're all designed to fit on an A4. Okay. So I've got a piece of A4 card. I've lined my template up. This is the stepper card that's in the first set. I take an embossing tool and I run along these lines. Okay. okay. All the instructions Just are included with these. Instructions as well. are included. Now, when I'm at home, I also run the embossing tool down there just to mark it. But I'm going to do it with pen, okay. just so everybody at home can see what I'm doing. Fabulous. Okay. I like the idea that they're cut to A4 straight away. No yes. trimming. So you just line it up. Mm. So all I'm going to do, yes, I'm going to use a knife at 7 o'clock on a Monday <laughs> morning. Now, if you want to use a ruler, you can do. But okay. You are fully trained, though. <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. So then it's just a case of folding it up. And the running joke is I used to be able to do this in the time it said the trouble with making these is they take just too long. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That so is go. Just so piece, fast. I didn't expect it to be that quick. And then on the template, you get your little panel so that you can cut and pop that out 
right Honey, size. that was speedy, speedy. I love that. And you're getting four different templates. Now, obviously, you add your papers, as Ali's just shown you. You've got your mats and your layers and all those different bits and pieces. But there you go, taking it from that template that we saw just a few moments ago, creating an amazing card. But it doesn't come by itself. You've actually got a set of four of these. So you've also got your double fold back card template. That is the next one. So just to show you how that one um, comes out, um, a beautiful dimensional card. Again, and it's all about these interesting folds, isn't it, that people it love is. so and much. Again, that's just out of one A4 piece. And you can do this as a double. You just do two and fold them opposite ways. You can start playing around with them as well. Love it. So you can get that one in there this as well. This is one of my favourites next. The next one. I'm yeah. assuming I do like this one. Because this one looks way more complicated than the template um, is. So here, have a look at this. Wow, how amazing is that? This is your double trifold card template. So you've got all of these slots. So how does this come together then, Ali? So basically you cut two pieces the same. So you do need two pieces of A4 for this. Okay. You can mess about with your colours and double-sided. This is just done with Graphic 45 because I like the double-sided. And then basically you cut them two and then they slot together top to bottom. Love it. Um, and then the next one, which I think is my favourite because I've not seen this um, in this style at all. No, it's really really Genius. unusual, isn't it? And this one is your twisted gatefold card. So, I mean, it looks really funky to start with. It, it, it. is, and I, I'm going to do an acetate one. Whether I get it done in this hour or on the 11 o'clock, I don't know. Ooh, but, what's going um, on here? It's um, a shopping list book. Oh, that's lovely. So, you've got spaces, and this is what I was saying about new twists on things. Twist, absolutely. On oh, that one. yeah. Um, <laughs> is the fact that now we do journaling and things. These don't have to be cards. These could be pages it within could, a journal, yeah. or you could make them actually into journals. Very much so. Nice Linda sizes with those. Sally quite rightly said they're um, slotting very neatly. All four of those. Now, every single one of those has got full instructions with it. So let me just turn around the double trifold because that's the one I can get to nice and easy. Um, so you don't have to worry. Everything is there. Words and pictures taking you through it. So even if you are brand new to card making, I know we get new viewers all the time, then these are brilliant to use. And they're nice as well. If you start getting back into classes and workshops, you can't necessarily take all of your paraphernalia with you. So by taking these, you've got four different different styles of cards to start with. And I say to start with because you will adapt them, you'll add to them. And what a brilliant price to start with. £7 saving, bring them down to £12.96 and, and we are busy for these already. So 797 877 if you fancy getting hold of those. Now before you check out your basket with these, we have got more to share with you. In that kind of uh, the same kind of idea, now I like this because we've actually got them as two separate bundles, but they're so affordable that I think you'll be adding these in alongside as well. So is it a similar sort of idea and concept with it these? It is, but I called these ones cards and beyond because I think these okay. lend themselves really to being elements within journals and scrapbooks and things like that or almost like mini home decor okay. projects. Uh, the one it. you're about to show is actually the double sh uh, the surprise shadow because when you okay. open it up. Right. Oh, hang on. Okay. Oh, look at that. And so I've done, there's one on the back counter where I've actually put a little accordion ornament in it. Oh, so look. that folds flat inside. So that goes inside. Oh, don't look. Don't look yet. Hold on. What a surprise. What a surprise. You ready? Surprise! And look. then that pulls out as an accordion. More surprises. I love that. And these, some of the stickers that we've got on the show as well, the yes. ephemera stickers. They're effective, aren't they? They are pretty like those. What a clever idea. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you're wanting to get hold of this one, it's in the bundle as well. So we've got that one. What have we got next then, Ali? So next is the double tag pocket. So this is, again, this is all folded up from one A4 piece of card okay. or paper. And then you've got these lovely two little pockets on the front. And again, I think this just lends itself to being in a journal. Oh, because you've that. got that element straight away of Definitely. secret pockets. So I've made one where I've put two of those together and some plain pages and then you've got a lovely little travel journal to keep it's tickets and things like there in. As well. yeah. I always yeah, depending how you glue it, you, yeah. as you say, you can make secret pockets And as I well. love this because I think this is a brilliant one as an invitation, so yes. like a wedding, because you can have your save the day in there, you can yeah. have your directions, you can have menus, all those different bits and pieces there, and it's all as a wallet or even as a gift card. Yeah, I, see, I yeah. think the thing is, little we surprise, forget, you know, yeah. you've got to give a voucher. They're not yeah. the most exciting thing in the world, but you can make them glamorous with this. And it's just tickets cleverly shows and things, folded yeah. from one piece of paper. Love it. £12.96 for all four. So that works out at, what, a little over £4? 
No, a little over three pounds actually, isn't it? Yeah. Three pounds and twenty-four pence. My goodness. Next one we've got as well. This is a lovely one. I love this because this <laughs> you describe this one. You said this one boings. Boingy. Yes, this boingy. Is boingy card. Card. <laughs> I couldn't spell boingy, so it's become pop-up. So again, but it folds flat to go in an envelope. But this one again, you can do multiples, you can join two together and make it longer. So it looks almost like um, a Christmas cracker. Oh yeah. So an explosion oh, like card. Yeah. All sorts of different things. But I just love that movement with it. Isn't that beautiful? It's nice. It's, like a trophy. it's almost like a little, yeah, trophy or presentation. Yeah. <laughs> Father's Day. Best father coming up. There you go. Father's Day. Maybe it's an idea for that one. Um, Pop-up card again. £3.25 pets included within that price, as you can see on your screen. Now, your third and final one is your slidey. So we've gone from boingy boingy to slidey slidey. <laughs> um, and that's what we've got with this one. And this is lovely. I mean, you've got a fabulous opportunity to do a reveal with these, haven't you? There yes, you go. Yes, so you could put, again, this is really nice. So if you were announcing um, pregnancy, Yes. You can put the scan inside so when you slide it open we've got something to tell you there you go there's your ultrasound Isn't that gorgeous Slap. you know so again this is what I was thinking that again inside a journal yes. so you can open it up quite easily yeah it could be a page couldn't it and then easily yeah, yeah. Love it. Again, £3.25 pence for that template. Imagine the uses. Imagine the times you're going to be using these over and over again. So it's a wise investment of anybody's money at £12.96. So 599067. Don't forget to add in that extra set that we've got, the details at the bottom of your screen. And most of you are going for both of those together, I believe. So more to share with you. Because, of course, Stamps Aware, we know them for their MDF. Now, this is the first time I've seen these, although these are slightly different to ones that we've seen previously, Ali, I yeah, believe. We we used to do one called the craft rack and drawers which was basically sort of 12 by 12 in dimension okay. so what we've done is we've made it slimmer this is you know this is our slim down <laughs> slim, slim uh, version it two drawers but also we changed the style of the drawers slightly so they're a little bit more um user friendly because the okay. others were fancy with with tile fronts and things but then you had to add our handles so this has got a little slot but i love shelves because yes. you can, it's what you put on it yeah. so i have so much fun decorating things to go on these but obviously they're practical you could have that tea bags would fit really nice in the bottom or your coffee pots Definitely. and then have your teas cups and things on it love your it. spices but it's the decorating it's I have brilliant. fun with. I mean, at that price, $14.99, very affordable. I mean, you could quite easily go for a couple of these and have them side by side, couldn't you? Mean? Nice little display. So if you fancy yours, at 548054. Um, and, uh, yeah, pop that one into your basket as well. Talking about MDF, we've got more for you as well. And this is brilliant because we're looking at palette art with this one. I love these. Really well, nice idea. We've done palette art for years and years and years and years. And the running joke is I will stick anything on a palette. <laughs> so because we were next door to a palette yard for years... Um, gave me the idea but these stand up so that gives you a ledge to put dimension on so you can see with the beach one I've torn some sandpaper to make the beach oh, and then I use see, some, yeah. maybe some graphic 45 just sneaking in there occasionally Clever idea. Um, and then it gives you and that's what I like it's giving you dimension easily and obviously great alternative to birthday cards Beautiful. you know make something that somebody can display all the time really clever idea um, and you can get three of these for $12.99 yeah. my so goodness that's the, the three stand up the base and the cross beam that goes so what I do is I decorate it then st stick the cross beam on and it means you can hide all sorts of mistakes behind it <laughs> <laughs> I love it there you go you fancy yours £12.99 for all three of those amazing value 225 216 now more to share with you because of course when you're talking about creating projects and especially with your MDF it's adding embellishments adding the detail and that's what some um, alien stamps so I do so so well now with these my goodness we've got loads in here oh I've fallen forward a little bit here. So we've got four different options. So um, tell me about these then. So basically they're utilising our um, lovely stickers, but these are printed onto white so, okay. that they're, they're, so that when you stick them over the MDF, you just get a really nice dimensional colourful right. embellishment. So you've got the coordinating MDF that goes with the stickers. Now the one you're looking at, which is Chemistry Lab, on the little um, shelf unit we've just looked at, yes. there's a little rack of test tubes. Oh, okay. And right. that's from that, that set. You even oh, get the little I rack to put those. your test tubes in. They are so, look at those, they're so cute. I love that. You've got the little rack in there as well. Amazing. All in there. So that one is your chemistry option, but there are four options in total. So you've got that one. You've got your cactus and your succulents. So as they have a little stand so that you can have them freestanding if you want, as little, again, for on your shelves and in... in pots and things like that or you just don't put the stand on and then they can stick onto cards okay 
Pocket watches, again, you're going to get three repeats. They look so realistic when they're on because obviously it's a photograph, but then you've got the dimension and I've used those a lot on the card samples. I've also, there's one of the stepper cards that's got wings added to it. Um, oh, okay. Ooh, and like then you've got the little then. frames. Now the middles are cut out of the frame. Okay. So although we say it's white, the middle will be, um, there's nothing there, so you can put photographs in that and just, you know, make and really nice And the same nice with the frames, pop the middles out as well. Yeah, and save the middles because they're handy Definitely. for other things. We've got a nice white base to start with, haven't yeah. we? Because you can stick those back on there. Love it. There you go. Four options of those. Of course, very affordable at 9 97 but brilliant because they're all on the same item number. So if you're wanting to mix and match, maybe go for a couple of repeats of some of those or one of each four, then you can do. 190721. If you're not a Freedom member, there's no additional postage because they're all on the same item number. Now, something else where they're all on the same item number as your ephemera stickers. Now, we have got 14 options of these. These are beautiful. Now, we saw some of the butterflies earlier on. Yes, so these are printed on um, a clear. So whatever you put them over will show through. So if you put those onto a book page, you get Oops. the faint hint of them coming through. But they're really vibrant. But on the same note, you can put them onto acetate and shape them. You can put them onto candles, soap anything that glass they look amazing on glass i've used them on the little bottles all sorts of different things that Gosh. you get three sheets of each there's loads in here absolutely loads so um well there's 14 different options i'm not going to go through all of those but you've got things that are perfect for photographs you've got corners in there film strips travel all sorts of different um, subjects and there's some brilliant little photographs as well so 11.99 um it's pick and mix so you choose any three of those packs so if you want them two six two one four five so uh, yeah pop those into your basket you'll find them on the website so alongside everything else that we've been chatting about so don't forget some beautiful glitters in there as well variety of different gradients and then you've got the um that bumper pack there of the gray board 9.99 that is phenomenal value for money if you're wanting to get hold of that i would certainly be popping that one into your basket because you're getting loads in there um, and for less than a ten or something it's kind of one of those staples isn't it you don't want to be without them there's the glitters i was talking about five star reviews with those as well and incidentally you can check out those reviews if you're wanting to all made by customers just like you at home giving you a little bit of guidance and advice so if you are wanting to, to check out those by all means please do sometimes some of the products are very very popular though so make sure you, you speed read them <laughs> and get them in your basket and checked out so you don't miss out this is a great board that I was talking about you're getting loads in here this is a really good price as well I was, I was trying to flick it but it won't flick no, it's, it's uh, 1000 micron which oh, wow. um so it's nice sturdy weight yeah. but not so thick that you can't cut it easily with scissors yes it is also sra4 which means it is oversized a4 okay. so if you're making um journal covers and you've just folded your a4 paper in half this will still work and there that's why go. I didn't cut it down because actually having Makes it oversized yeah. is really handy. And then Brilliant. if you do cut it down to A4, you get little strips which are really good for building up as spaces. I never throw my strips of grey board go. away. They she get knows, she knows. all sorts. She knows, you know. Um, details are on your screen. If you fancy, fancy yours, 999 um, if you fancy those. Now, Ali, we've got a couple of shows with you today, but what's the plan for this first demo? Right, so I've so because we've, we've done a stepper card, I will go back and decorate that at some point, but I'm going to do the little shadow box from the, oh, second, from the second set, set. Yes. lovely so just to show you so i'm actually using graphic 45 only because it's a, a nice way and i have got lots to use up um, but again this is an a4 template so you can do it straight onto an a4 and i am drawing in pen again so that you can see also under the lights it is a little bit easier for me to see pen but you can use um pencil or just score with your embossing tool just so that you can cut it out okay so I'm doing all of this now there's two trains of thought you can either draw around cut it out and then line the template back up but I'm going to show you a trick with this one because when you're using a pen or maybe not the sharpest pencil in the box when you come to a little corner like this you need to be able to get right in to mark that, which you might not be able to do if you just I say if you're just using a normal pencil. So what I do is I score my lines now, and that will also give me a reference point as to where I need to take my cut line to. Just saves you having to um, fiddle about later. Okay, so I'm just 
but if you're not confident doing this you can cut it out then line the template back up okay just and the same thing is if you think you've missed the line don't worry right put that to one side speed cutting not the most complicated cut that's it just so, while you're cutting that out, I forgot to show you those glitters earlier on. Can I just very quickly show these just oh, while Ali's cutting out? Now, these are beautiful. We've got different gradients of glitter you in have, here. And they're not glitter per se. Okay. They're in a gel. Oh, okay, right. So you apply them like a gilding wax. Yeah. But it means that oh, you can I be see. very precise with where you put it. So none of this putting glue, tipping the glitter. Oh, I gosh. don't actually usually do glitter. Okay. Because I don't like... I know this is going to sound wrong coming from me. I don't like the mess of glitter. It gets everywhere. It for does. Weeks. This doesn't. It literally goes where you put and and you put it on your finger or with with it, whatever you want to apply it with, and that's where it goes. No shedding, no nothing. So you don't end up with a work um, area covered in glitter that you're going to then find glitter. And they, they look quite milky in the jar. I'm guessing do they dry clear? Dry so clear. You, you wouldn't even know the paste <clears throat> is there. It almost disappears completely. Perfect. Love it. Twelve ninety nine, um, popular item, and the details are there on your screen. Zero four five zero six five. So apologies for not showing you those earlier. Um, they are busy. Um, Ali, how are you getting on? Are you cutting out? Okay, I've nearly done, but I just want to say. So you remember I said about if you can't get your pen right in. Yeah. See here, the line because my pen was a bit stubby. So I've by scoring the line, I can just make sure I cut oh, I to see, the yeah. score line. Just means that when you fold up, you get a crisper fold and you're not going to have any resistance. And I've also spotted there's a score line I've missed, but that again doesn't matter. So the cards and more set, which is what I'm working from at the moment, are a little bit more... Not complicated, but a little bit more in depth. There's a little bit more folding and Got things a bit more like that. Just, they're they're really mm. interesting. So I can see here I've missed a score line. So I'm just gonna line my template back up and I'm gonna No, not the pen. Sorry, it's very early. <laughs> but we'll hide that fair. anyway. So but just it shows must... you just how easy you can do that though. Exactly. And then all you want to do to begin with, when you're doing, you get full instructions, but you'll actually find that it, it will want to fold in the way that it's been designed to. So I'm okay. just folding up along those, giving them a nice crisp, and it will tell you whether you're going to fold in or fold out. Or, okay. Now, this one, which is like the mechanism one, I fold both ways, just so that it's stretched the fibres and you've got a nice bit of movement okay. there, because you can see that's the one that comes in. It needs to be quite fluid, that one, yeah. Yeah. And then these are your tabs that actually <coughs> make it into a box. So you can see like that. So again, just out, fold it back. Just, it's a good little habit to get into yeah. when you're doing ones that are having a bit of movement. Okay. And also, working on double-sided paper sort of helps you because you can see where things are going. Yes. Helps you yeah, plan. Yeah, good point. Right. So, I'm now going to need to pop a bit of glue on there okay. because that needs... I use a wet glue. You could use your red liner tape if you prefer. Okay. okay. Um, been busy for these ones, Ali. Over 10% of the stock has gone as a bundle. Right. Mm. So, and then I just brought with me a couple of pegs. I'm just going to hold that for a second while okay. I get on and create some bits to go inside. Now, a lot of the templates, like the stepper, has where there's a big space of plastic, we've cut layering ones for you to decorate. Anything that's particularly difficult, if you look at the twisted gatefold mm -hmm. template, you'll see that's got a lot of layering templates in for you because you're dealing in triangles. Yes. Yeah. So anything where I think you're going to have to do an excessive amount of measuring, we've put a layering template in. Love it. But this one, because it's just squares, I'm just going to use the squares of the panel of the template to create some little decorative bits. Um, Ali just bought in that um, side stepper um, card, just to let you know that's in the set at the bottom of your screen, if that's one that you're particularly after. Okay, so I'm just, just getting some little panels going. And if I do, if I'm a bit cheeky and do that. So I'm just going to get, just while my template's drying, I'm just cutting some rectangles. So this is where, if you've got your dies, you can bring in some, you know, 
pretty layer, lacy ones yeah. or whatever you fancy. But I'm just going to keep it fairly simple and just create some um, little panels. And I like these because quite often, when, especially when we get started, and I know that we've got lots of new viewers who've come across us um, and uh, started watching. And it takes a while to build up all that crafty kind of uh, paraphernalia and die-cutting machines and oh, guillotines yes. and all those other bits and pieces that we add into our craft room. So something like the templates, I think, are brilliant if you're just getting started. But also, they're so easy to transport if you are going crafting at the caravan and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I was just thinking the same because literally all you need pair of scissors yeah. and not that that is a pen <laughs> an embossing tool i wouldn't mind but they're bright pink i think i'd be able to find that That's right really so cool. take the pegs off that is There's fabulous okay i'm just going to create so some cute and i love the idea of the little book inside it as well yeah it just any void like that just lends itself just a little accordion book or anything Anything you fancy, really. But again, this could hide a voucher or yes. um, anything. Or it could be that... Um, remember brag books? When we used to make little brag oh, books with yeah. photos in and things like that. Yeah, I mean, just anything. I just... I think... I think, if anything, over the last year, we've started to appreciate... Um, sending, sending physical things, yes. you know. yeah. If you haven't seen Grandma for a little while, why not, you know, get somebody to make some little pictures mm. and put some photos in and, you know, and also now we, we walk around with spectacular cameras in our pockets. Just get the photos printed out get off the phone out, yeah. and get them into something else. You don't even need to print them out massively. I think they need to bring back those ones. Do you remember where you used to get the big picture and then the three little ones? Oh, gosh, yeah. That would be yeah. perfect for things. And a lot of people have bought those little kind of um, photo printers as well, haven't they? Yeah, they I've got a little thing. Bluetooth yeah. one that runs yeah. off my phone. So yeah, there you go. Idea. I'm just going to make a couple of butterflies just to add. Oh, actually, let's be clever. Oh, okay. Let's take a butterfly. Right. So I'm going to stick him onto the brown paper just to give him... This is going to look cruel. <gasps> Ali, I'm not looking. I can't look. <laughs> I've just cut a butterfly <gasps> in half. <gasps> cruel, cruel lady. But there is a reason. There is a reason. Uh, now, incidentally, the sticker that um, Ali's working with, you'll notice it's got a fabulous transparency to it. These are brilliant. And they're part of a pick and mix. And you've got all sorts of different opportunities and different ideas with these. You've got um, all sorts of photographs in there. You've got sentiments in there. You've actually got 14 different options. Just while Ali's trimming around a butterfly, shall I show you? Because there's loads, way too many for me to go through. But this is one where I would certainly keep a note of that item number because I think once you've gone for these and you've bought, bought your first um, set of three, when you receive them, you will just realise how incredible these are with regard to the quality and the quantity that you're getting in there. So I think over time, you kind of gather a little bit of a collection. I love the little film strips there. Brilliant for your mini photographs. Then you've also got your photo corners in there and the photo shoots, some brilliant little quirky phrases in there as well. So if you're into your little memory albums that we've been chatting about, definitely add those in. 11.99 will get you any three of those two six two one four five if you want in those so what i've done is i've cut my butterfly in half Aww. i only glued the bottom of the wings so now he opens oh up that's lovely that's cute like that you're forgiven <laughs> <laughs> See? and then we'll just put hugs again these are from the ephemera these are always popular um the words because again look because it's unclear. Seamless. Yeah, it looks like it's been stamped on there. And I must admit, some of the finished samples, you really have to look closely to see whether it's stamped or not. Yeah, yeah. and the fact that you've got the full colour, I yeah. just find that really handy. So there you go. That is a beautiful. surprise child. Now, in the template set, you do get what we call a belly band template. Okay. None of my samples, I've used that. But if you were posting that out, you've got a little decorative template. Like a little so you can make a little, isn't it? Yeah, like a little... That's all got the score lines again. It almost looks like a smartwatch, but you can't tell the time by it. <laughs> um, and you're getting that. And, of course, again, you've got the, the markings there for you to cut around it, your score lines in there, and mats and layers, and it just literally wraps around um, the uh, the middle of your card. Um, £12.95, that is included in that set as well. Brilliant value for money. Um, and, again, popular items. So 566067, £12.95. Try again, Hayley. £12.96. Ali, I'll let you 
you get ready for your next demo. Um, just want to tell you about the other bundle that Ali touched on a few moments ago with the stepper card. This one is equally as popular. So if you do like your card bases, then this is the perfect one for you. Just be aware that um, approaching 20% of the stock has gone. Now, with each and every one of these, you are getting a template alongside the instructions. So nice and easy for you to work with. And I know Ali referenced this one with she was talking about her demonstration because you will notice that with the templates, you've got your outside edge, which, of course, Ali shared with us and showed us but then you've got those inner segments and here with the triangles obviously it's quite key that you're getting those triangles in the right angle and the right size to do your mats and layers to get those results that look so amazing which is why they're all incorporated within that one piece that you've got and then you're creating your fabulous card so that one there is your twisted gatefold next one that you've got is your double trifold card and this is a really clever one taking a couple of pieces of your a4 card it gives you that dimension have a look at that that is brilliant, but it folds flat, goes into a DL size um, envelope, but doesn't it look amazing? So, so clever. So that's featuring in there as well. You've also got your next one, which is your double fold, um, uh, well, it's kind of like a fold back card, double fold back card. So as you can see there, again, using your A4 sheets, again, incredible results. And then, of course, that speedy quick demo, which you almost blinked and missed this morning, um, showing you just how quickly and easy you can get, again, make your side stepper card there from an A4 sheet. And that is brilliant. These are the kind of things that we use time and time again, but they look so effective. And, of course, it's all the measuring and the cut lines and the fold lines, all done quick and easy for you, just using that template. 797 £12.96. It works out at three pounds and 25 pence per um, template so yeah brilliant value for money phenomenal um seven nine seven eight seven seven if you are wanting those now if you're adding those into your basket be sure to add the other sets in as well because at 12 pounds and 96 pence so affordable i would certainly be going for both of these so the other set that we looked at creating that fabulous little box that we saw a few moments ago i think it's such a clever idea the shadow card it's like a little box it's like a, a flat pack box isn't it because of course it all goes completely flat like so and again there she's been cutting up butterflies again here it was no stopping the woman um, and there you go open it out like so and this is the one where you've got that little exciting element in there as well where you've got that little little book in there isn't that clever? But that could be a photograph, um, a little album in there. It could be, again, invitation details. It could be that you booked a nice weekend for somebody. You're going off to see a show and you've got all the different details in there. But I just think it's a really nice one. That is just one of those um, templates. The next one that you've got is your double pocket card. And again, this is a perfect one for gifts and ideas because you've got the pockets not only on the front, but depends on how you put it together, you will have that pocket on the back there as well. So again, a really pretty design. Design, like that idea with all the mats and layers included then you've also got your pop-up card or your boinky card if you prefer um, and I love this one it is literally like a little kind of presentation so um, the award for the best producer for the hours of seven till nine because she's doing the next hour as well it's Katie yay there we go congratulations Katie it'll be Holly's turn next time around um, and then you've got this lovely one here which I think is brilliant because it's a reveal card and this is your slider card and you can see there how it all comes together so beautifully with a little bit of a reveal there a really clever idea but again all of the maths all of the hard work taken out put together with a fabulous and then it fits in a square envelope ingenious if you fancy yours then all four of those again come in here for 12 pounds and 96 pence so being a very busy popular one so about 599067 if you're wanting those as well now if you prefer your mdf to be honest, these would work alongside anything that we've got from Stamps Away, but of course it's something that they're known for. And these are brilliant. It's kind of a resized version of something that we've seen on a larger scale, 12 by 12. You've got your mini shelf and drawer units. And the little drawers at the front there do come out. They've got like a little thumb hole that you can pull. But isn't it cute? I love this. I mean, you could use this in so many different ways. I mean, storage capacity, if it's going on a dressing table, you've got little drawers at the front there, maybe for your jewellery, things like that. It could be that you've got your makeup and your little kind of, uh, I don't know, pots of cream and different things on there if you wanted to maybe in a crafting environment maybe you've not got a huge amount of space and you want somewhere to keep things like your ink pads and your little bottles of glitter and things then the perfect opportunity or it could be purely decorative as you can see to the side of us here um 14.99 548 is your item number with regards to that one and again multiples by all means go for them one item number one post and pokey po one post and pokey one post and packaging what did they poke you for?
obviously a little bit of a, a break in the uh, <laughs> the wiring there. Yes. Anyway, next thing, pallets, pokey. <laughs> really don't know where I got that from. Um, pallets, <laughs> here you go, pallet art. Now you're getting three of these um, for £12.99, 225216 being your item number. And you can see that you've got your bases alongside it with your um, kind of support. And you've also got your strap that goes across there to offer that um, kind of support across the design there. And I think Ali was so clever there. Can cover a multitude of sins. Love these. Um, perfect as little plaques, as you can see there, because you've got that base there, giving it a good solid base. And then, of course, you've got your palette there with that um, piece going across. So there you go. If you fancy those, 12 99 225 216. That's for all three of those, incidentally. Now, you will have noticed, I am sure, little stickers popping up around the, uh, the kind of different things that we've been looking at, especially when we were looking at the display a few moments ago. Now, with these, you've got a little duo. I think this is a really clever idea because you've got your MDF bases, so you can see three boards of those. Then you've got your three boards of stickers as well. And these are printed on white, so it means you don't have to prime your um, MDF at all. Seamless finish with those, and you've got four different opportunities with those. So you've got things like your chemistry set, you've got your cacti um, and your succulents, you've got your frames, and of course your pocket watches, as you can see there. 190721, um, less than a tenner, my goodness, £9.97. Too good to you here. Um, so if you fancy adding those into your basket, please do so. Um, I'm going to head, head back over to Ali. What are you up to next, dear? You? Right, well, we're going to do an incredible demonstration on television. We're going to do a twisted gatefold in acetate. <laughs> are you going to finish with a like a, a pirouette and a, possibly a but this is one of those it's like honestly there is something going on here. okay fair enough <laughs> i have i've actually put the acetate on top of the uh, one of the pieces of gray board just so that hopefully it shows up a little bit better but it also shows you how much bigger the gray board is than a4 so there is a piece of a4 acetate under my template this template looks really complicated because you've got all the layering panels we've also given you a decorative edge um, truthfully, I never actually do that, but if you wanted to, you can draw around that and cut out a scallop. <laughs> it just, we could do, but you could put your template back down. It's made from the same plastic as your masks, so you could actually just ink and oh, that's nice fake idea, yeah. your edge. Like it. Right, so I'm using a narrower um, embossing tool this time okay. just because I'm working on acetate and I need to really squidge into it. It's the other reason for working on the grey board rather than straight onto my glass mat. Okay. I can really squidge the acetate down. Brilliant. Okay. So there's actually only four fo one, two, yeah, four fold lines. I have to count there. <laughs> That um, grey board's been popular. Um, nine ninety nine, absolute bargain. And I have actually used um, the double double fold back on the back shelf. Is done in grey board. Oh, hold on. I'll get hold of that one. So that's nice as well. It makes it into a really a real display piece there. I mean, that is incredible. I mean, the weight of the, the grey board, the gray yeah. board is phenomenal. The back, though, it's been doubled over, so you've got even more support on the back there. But isn't that brilliant? Yeah, I mean, if you're being frugal, you don't have to double it over That's there. True. But I just thought, just as it's going to be... Love it. There you go. Um, 9 dollars And don't forget the actual um, template for this particular one at the bottom of your screen as well. Those stickers are amazing. I love those. They're just... They're so quick and easy to use. That's what I like about them. Right, so, see, there is something here. You can see it. But by squidging down into the grey board, it means I've got a nice, crisp um, line to follow, to fold. So when you're working with acetate, just really... A bit. Okay, so it will show up in a second. So, oh, the grey board did work. I've just got some scraps of uh, double-sided paper here. Okay. So hopefully I should be able to use my template and get some panels out. That's a good tip as well, utilising that, uh, that edge there and just kind of put one less to cut. It is, yeah. And also you're getting the most out of your paper because now point. that's left me a nice strip there. And notice I've left the strip with the name on just yes. gives it a little bit more also reminds me what that strips from yes. so if i'm saving that and using it in another project i know what it is so honestly it's great fun working with acetate on air i don't know why i do this to myself <laughs> Now, I can't believe it. We've only got about 20 minutes left on this show. Time has been flying by. Now, Ali, you're back up later on. What time are you back on? 11. 11 o'clock. 
fabulous. Right. Oh, you got Yannis. He's going to love these. He is, isn't he? Right, so that, so you can start to see, and it will really come to life when we do the triangles. Now, when you're doing the triangles, just visualise, sort of lay the template over, because the triangles, because of the way it's folded, they are all slightly, the, the bottom one's slightly different to the corner one. Oh, okay, fair so enough. So just make sure you're doing the right one, especially if you're being frugal with your paper and making the most of it. Do you have to be careful if you've got a, a pattern paper that's got a direction to it? Yes, so just have your template, have your card laying down. Just keep, you know, it doesn't take long. And because you can see through, you see, you can see the spots through. Yeah. So it means that I can make sure that, you know, my spots are going in the right direction. Or if I wanted to, to get a particular flower or something into it, I can do. But the first time you do it, if you use just normal double-sided pattern paper, it actually helps because then if you do realise you've cut it the wrong way or something, you can just flip it over. Um, it just, it looks more complicated than it is. So just effective. take your time. And okay. I suppose the thing is, don't use directional paper and you don't have to worry. Exactly. I mean, so many papers are like, you've got their gorgeous repeat or yeah. I mean, I've, I've, done one, I've done one with book page and it's still, even when it's at an angle, it still looks, I just made sure the writing was up the right way. Yeah. Um, and you'll get to know as well when you work with these. <clears throat> I was also just going to say that on the template, you'll see that you've got an outside and an inside, so you can actually do a double mat if you oh, want to. Okay. But for time, I'm just going with a single mat here. But I could do, you know, a coordinating paper. We've tried to sort of make as much out of the template as we can. I love this. Um, the card that was just showing you, showing off those mats and layers that Ali's just been referring to, as you can see there. Also, it's not just butterflies she cuts in half. You can <laughs> see the stickers there. She's cut those in half as well. Um, and I love that because you wouldn't necessarily think of putting those together. So you kind of got the mechanics of these from the ephemera stickers and the details are on the screen there. Obviously, the gorgeous butterflies there, which are beautiful. Um, they've been put onto a little bit of acetate because, of course, they're sticky. So you want them to stand up. So maybe yeah. some of your scraps of your acetate for those. And then again, you using some more of those on the inside there and again things like fly high be yourself they're featuring as some of those stickers within the ephemera sets as well so do check those at bottom of your screen for those i like love that. the blueprint ones just for breaking up so say for example you have used book page that and you don't really want people reading i mean that's an old encyclopedia so it's fairly safe <laughs> um, but you know by putting something like that it just it creates those layers and yes. i really like the blueprint but also if you are cutting things in half i don't think i've got any, but if you know you're only going to use half that butterfly, cut it in half on the sheet and then peel off the half and then you've got that other half to use on other projects. Oh, and I literally, mine end up with all sorts of different bits and pieces <laughs> of half things. Right, let's do a pocket watch to go on here. So, let's do... Now, this is a clever idea. We're using them with the, uh, the MDF. Right, so you'll see that that's the perfect watch to go on that piece of MDF. Um, lost one of mine on being the car I should think that goes with that one so Perfect. all you do is you peel them off and you stick them on oh that can be simpler okay and I'm going to put that on that bottom corner there and MDF going on to cards I mean is it lightweight enough to do that yeah it's only it's only three mils so it's it's lightweight but unlike sort of um, if I'd have decoupaged that they get squashed over time. That's Whereas a good these point, hold yeah. them. The other thing that is really good for these, um, say, for example, I'm doing a project like this, and there's my watch and there's my frame. Mm -hmm. If I'd have done a real, um, just a normal embellishment, and then try to do all this painting and everything, there's always a danger you'll go over. So what I do is I put the MDF down, do all the painting, spraying, spritzing, whatever, then the last thing I do is put the sticker on. Clever. And then it pops because it's Pristine, really vibrant. Yeah, because yeah, you can get that overspray, can't you? Yeah. yeah. So Top let's tip. now add a word up there. So now I'm just going to my normal clear ephemera. So you can see there that obviously that's white. So, the, you know, no MDF showing through. This time I'm going to utilise um, the clear nature. And I'm just going to get a bit of book page. 
Okay, so I'm going to put the book plate down and I'm going to say hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> That's fabulous. So you can layer them as well. I mean, obviously, there's That's not really a massive good. amount of um, planning going into this, but I just want to show you how you can create sort of very simply your well, everything own. Everything works so well together. I think that's the key thing with this. And everything's so affordable. I mean, looking at the prices here, I mean, the, the highest price that we've, we've got is probably, what, about $14.99 for the fabulous um, display cabinets that we saw, which is a phenomenal price for something um, as substantial as that. I mean, I don't know how you managed to do it, Alan. Uh don't know. <laughs> I need to review my business plan. <laughs> but also, I'm a crafter. Well, this is it. Um, and we build up all these things, don't we? Um, incidentally, those stickers that Ali's just been working with, uh, with the, the typograph um, on there, um, that particular one has been um, one of the most popular ones of the pick and mix. Yeah, I, I, I use it so much. And they're all very usable words and sayings. And again, because it's clear, you know, if you want to have, um, like, have fun, but you wanted to have have fun, you can do that. You yes, can just cut yeah. it up again. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to come round and be the ephemera police. <laughs> yes, take it back from you. <laughs> Sorry, you can't have that. You've cut it up. Even though she does cut up butterflies, she's a lovely I lady. do. I cut them up frequently, I do. <laughs> but I always save them. Um, but they do look fabulous set in resin as well. Oh. Oh, that's an idea, actually. Yeah, because they're yeah. clear, you can really play with that um, inside resin. So Ooh. I've done um, all I've sorts got of some pendants kicking about on the set somewhere. I think one's off to the side down there somewhere. Just a little pendant where I just laid some ephemera in and then resined over the top or set them into the mould. Oh, point it out to us, Sally. We've just got the right. camera over that way. So It was round here somewhere. Where's it gone? Oh. Ah, oh, I've moved it somewhere. Safe. Oh. It'll turn up. I will find it. We'll find I will find it. it for the next... We'll lock the doors till we find it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they just look really cute. Um, I probably might have put it on one of the shelves, actually. Because <clears throat> I bring so many bits and pieces and then spend the, fir the hour before the show fiddling around. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm wandering around looking everywhere. <laughs> Oh, you got it there. Right, so this is using one of the vintage photos, oh, then a word, and then the resin over the top. Oh, so it's like a little bezel and the resin's been poured in. Oh, that's effective, isn't it? I love those photos. I, I use those such a lot. So you can see how this is starting to come together. Oh, that looks but look, if I stand it up, look how it really plays with your eyes and oh, catches. Oh, yeah, because it just looks And because like I've used double-sided paper. Clever. It really just... I just think effective. it's such a fabulous little fold. I love it. Um, now, I'm going to let you get ready for another demo, yep. if that's all right, because we've got time for another one, so let's um, do it. Um, we've been busy with regards to the templates, and, of course, the uh, one that Ali's just been working with forms part of this first bundle. So with this one, you get all four templates. works out at £3.25 per template, but you're paying £12.96p um, for all of them to come together, and you'll be reusing them over and over again. That's a key thing, a wise investment of your money. It's been a popular popular one this particular one so is it over oh 30 percent of the stock you like in this one it's very early in the morning so when we get updates like that it does make me realize just how many people we have got watching so it's good to have your company ali's going to be back at 11 o'clock as well so make sure that you do tune in for that show but the details are on your screen there for each of these templates you are getting obviously the template to create whichever style card it is so we saw ali very very speedy quick create a sidestepper card using this first one so that's your sidestepper card um which is a brilliant card one of those popular ones but so easily done out of an A4 sheet. So you've got your side stepper in there. You've also got your double back um, fold, double fold back card. If you want to make it as a card, of course, you could use it and create two of those, as we saw with the grey board earlier on. Then you've got your double trifold card, and this is a clever one because, again, it's DL size, so nice and easy to fit in an envelope, but lots of depth and interest with regards to that one. Two A4 sheets to create that one. And, of course, the one that we've just saw Ali working with, which is that lovely twisted gatefold card, again, all done from one sheet with um, a little idea there of a little shopping list, like that one. £12.96, um, sorry, brilliant value for money. 7 
097877 if you fancy getting hold of those. Now, lots of you adding in the other set of templates as well. And I love this because there's loads of interest with regards to these next ones as well. So kind of got cards covered, but to be honest, you could use these in lots of different ways in the same way as you can use these wonderful ones that we've got. Um, get into shape cards and more. So use them as your card bases, use them as your memory little albums and all sorts. And again, you're getting all four of these, £12.96. So again, works out £3.25. Pence. Lots of very interesting ideas of working with these. Um, again, use, oops, upside down. There you go, using those fabulous book pages there, creating a little um, recess there where you can put a little project in there if you're wanting to, or just use it as a fabulous little kind of box. A pop up box, very, very clever idea. And again, plenty of room for you to pop a little note, or it might be a little um, gift card or something like that in there. Love that one. You've also got your double um, pocket card, which is a clever one. Again, plenty of room in there for you to put different bits and pieces in an internal pocket depending on how you put that together then you've got your springy pop-up card which is a brilliant one again like that little diamond on the top there brilliant one um, that one next time will be awarding that one to holly for best director of the hour as well um, and this one again lovely little idea with that reveal there which could be a sentiment or an additional photograph and again fits into a nice little square envelope uh, um, rapidly approaching a 30 percent of the stock of this one as well so um, 12 pounds and 96 p for this one if you're wanting them both then all the details are on your screen that you need ali we've got about eight and a half minutes left have we got time to make another card yeah we're gonna we won't decorate it but i'll just show you how how to do um, a double trifold. Lovely. Okay, so I've got two pieces of, and I'm going with the same colour here just um, because I happen to have two the same, but you can really mess about with your colours. On the template, you have to mark this sort of wedge. This part of the template where it's the full height is actually so that you can create the card blank if you're going to sit, stick it to the front of a card. Okay. Okay, so I'm not going to do that on this. I'm just going to get the mechanism going. Okay, so I'm going to be a bit naughty and cut both of these together. But I'm only working with, I think this is about 160 gram, this um, card I'm using. So it's, the nice thing with this, because of the way it works, it lends itself to lighter weight papers and cards because you've got the strength of the, the, the slotting together. Right, so take one, pop it back under the template. Now you'll see there's little dots, so you want oh, to yes. mark the dot, okay? Then take your embossing tool, where's my one that's not quite so chunky? I'll use this one. Right, so... This one, I'm going to mark below the dot, the full length. Okay. Below the dot, mm -hmm. the full length. Below the dot. Okay, that's one. Next one. Do exactly the same thing in terms of marking the dots. Don't panic, there are full instructions. Uh, this uh, time, I'm going to mark ooh. a above the dot. Oh, mixing it up. Full okay. length. Mark the dot. Do you know what? I hadn't done these for years. And as soon as I got the templates back out, my little spiel of what I say came flowing out. <laughs> and I'm saying it to myself it? as I'm crafting away in the kitchen. And I'm going, <laughs> right, so <laughs> this time we're going to cut the score line and then to the dot. Okay. Cut the score line to the dot. Cut the score line to the dot. So this time we're going up. Perfect. To the dot. 40% of to the, the stock dot. has gone incidentally of this template collection. To the dot. And then we just fold it up like a zigzag. Fold it up like a zigzag, and then all you've got to do, this is the trickiest bit, is join it together. So just oh, feed them so through, through. Oh, and you can clever. see as soon as they start coming together, even though it's like really quite a flippy floppy, I wouldn't even really call it card, it's, it's paper, but you can see how much strength it starts to get so just keep sliding them on just make sure you're all that and that's why clever. you do the dots so the dots are always in the same place and there you go 
one. That is brilliant. It just lends itself to so much Does decoration. It just? All Does your it flowers. Just? Um, John Lockwood has got some fabulous flower dyes. You could have them really cascading. Oh, yeah. You could just go to town with that. I mean, so I've kept everything do. fairly simple, but... Love it. So, so clever. And Ali was talking about using it on the front of a card, and I found one here um, where she's done exactly that. Again, using the book pages, again, using the butterflies, as you can see there, which I think is a brilliant idea. And again, you've got that dimension that we saw just a few moments ago. But the idea of this one is it's sitting on the front of a card as well. So if you do like that area that you are going to have to traditionally write your greeting, put your verse, things like that, then you can do. But again, it could be on the front cover of a book or anything like that that you're creating. But how amazing is that? So of course, alongside that particular one, if you're going for your card, you're going to get that one. You're also going to get your side stepper card as well. Um, the templates for these, obviously, this is the way that they come together. You're going to get that lovely double fold back card again. A lovely idea with regards to that one. Um, and of course, we saw um, the zigzag one, the trifold, a few moments ago. And of course, the demonstration with regards to your twisted gatefold as well. Uh, we've seen most of them from that set. Um, lots of you like in this one. 40% of the stock has gone. So £12.96 pence being your price seven nine seven eight seven seven if you're wanting those works out at three pounds and 25 pence amazing now we've only got three and a half minutes is that going to be long enough Alice? of course it is of course okay. it is so right. which one are we looking at now we're going to slider now oh okay okay and i've just gone for two completely different colors of card um quite spring-like here right so i want to mark there 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 if in doubt, use your embossing, sorry, embossing <laughs> tool to mark every line. And then if you've marked one that should be a cut line or you've marked one with a pen that should be a fold line, it doesn't matter. OK, so I'm very quickly cutting this out. These are quite important because that's the finger hole so that you can grab the mechanism. OK. OK. But if you've got a fancy punch or something, you can. this is where you can start to personalise it. Oh, that's a good idea. Right. Start in the corner and cut. By doing it that way, you know that you're going to be catching all those edges when you cut. And then you just fold that up and back. And that's the start of it. Fold that over quickly do this again you can see you've got your um, markings for your mats and layers okay quickly sorry again sorry sorry too early for squeaky things I need to um do you remember the old technique we used to do with the embossing tools where you rub them <laughs> Right, so that just folds over like a little mini card. Okay. Just take that off there. So that comes in. Okay. I'm just going to take a very fine slither. Depending how thick the card or paper is, just adjust that very slightly there if you're using a thickish card, just okay. so that it will fit down. So you see, it sits that there. Put some glue on. Wonderful. So, so the short side sticks out, goes over. You only glue the half. So it's very important to put the glue on the green card, not the yellow. Okay. And then you would glue or tape along here to sandwich everything in. Mm-hmm. Okay, so imagine that sandwich. We'll just borrow our peg to just hold that for a second. And then when we pull It that, does that! So clever. Ali, you did it. Oh, we've still got 30 seconds left. Is oh, we could have put a picture Jojo. on it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got one here. Obviously, all that you need to do then is add your decoration and you're creating a fabulous car. I love this idea and I love the idea of the little eye there being on the pulley as well. So, brilliant idea. 40% um, of the stock has gone of the bundle that we're looking at at the moment. 50% of the stock that of the card templates as well. So, both very, very popular bundles. Get busier as the hours um, go on as well during the course of the day. And, of course, Ali, you're back at 11. Looking forward to that one. Thank you very much. In the meantime, Thank you for your inspiration, you. as always. It's fabulous. Um, anything in your basket, check your baskets out, and I will join you straight after the break. 
I certainly will do with the one day special. Bit of a change around with our schedule today, so do check it out online. But for the next few hours, we've got Dolly Dimples, we've got Pink Frog Crafts, and they're going to be crafting yourself silly at 10. Hello, I'm Carol. And I'm Hayley. And together we are the Dreamies. Dreamies have been around for 11 years now. We started with CD ROMs, we've developed into stamps, paper pads, dies. We've now got the Dinky Inkies range as well. We design everything in house and we manufacture in the UK. We produce tutorials to inspire you to get the most from our products. Have you heard of Freedom? Did you know that as a Freedom member, you could be making savings on every order you place? For just £7.97 a month, you will benefit from selective Freedom member discounts and complimentary standard delivery on every order you place. You will also receive our exclusive Freedom members badge, giveaways and crafty updates. If you shop with a craft store more than twice a month, then Freedom is for you. Don't forget, your Freedom membership is flexible, so you can pause if you're going away or you can cancel at any time you decide. So what are you waiting for? Give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888 and join Freedom today. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps. I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers. I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. We aim to inspire you to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. So it's an opportunity for us to have a brand new, fresh look at our current one day special. Now, if you didn't see the launch last night at six o'clock, oh my goodness, where were you? We were incredibly busy, so much so that 40% of the stock of the one day special has gone. And that's the whole day stock. This idea is that it runs through to a six o'clock tonight but the price the deal that we've got and the quantity that we've got left who knows so all i can say is make sure you get in nice and early especially if you're a freedom member but i'll explain all of that to you in a few moments because i need to introduce my lovely guest for the hour good morning charmaine how are you morning, doing my dear. you look really cheery and colorful oh, bless you. <laughs> i love your top Oh, thank you. It's nice and bright, isn't it? Yes. So, um, yeah, busy last night with the one day special. It was indeed. It was indeed, yes. And yeah. it's a fabulous bundle because you've got everything that you need in here. Yeah, it's a lovely concept um, and it, it's really good fun to work with as well. Well, let me show you what the concept is to start with because obviously you can see all these fabulous different um, pages that we've got. But it's called the Flip Flap Book. Now, I know Charmaine's going to share this with us in a few moments, but you're going to learn how to create these amazing pages, which I think is such a clever idea because they literally flip flap backwards and forwards to give you loads and loads of interest now of course you've seen all those fabulous papers on the front with all these different kind of elements in there but you are also going to get the pages or the templates should I say to enable you to create all of those interactive elements that you've got in here and these are brilliant because you've got everything there with full instructions on the pieces which I love Charmaine so there's nothing for us to lose no the pictorial um 
templates as well so you've got pictures on there at the back showing you where to position bits and pieces so you can do what what it says on the tin and then once you've got the templates and you've got them all cut out when you cut loads and loads of them out and you start playing around you'll start moving them and um, you'll accidentally glue them on different ways around and think oh actually that's quite good <laughs> so we'll stick with that and uh, yeah you can do lots of different things on it so there will be loads and loads of pictures and loads of little sort of flip through flip through videos oh tongue cheek and all that <laughs> um, flip through videos going up on our dolly dimples crafts facebook page to show you different options to do with the template itself but the papers are just to die for well you've got there. gorgeous papers in here which i've just been flicking through there which are brilliant because they're kind of like photorealistic papers it's almost as if you've created these backdrops yourself without the mess yes. but then you've got what feels like cards within here yeah, as so well. you've got our mixed media card so we put some among and i call them like you know ready steady go yes so basically um i take the paper and i glue the paper to the card and it's a 250 gsm so it's a good sturdy weight uh, if you want to add your mediums and things to it or if you want to you know put your stencils over the top or glue the paper onto it so you've got double because obviously you're going to be able to see both sides of the paper yeah that's good so the option is there to keep it keep it white and add your own bits and pieces yes. or to put the paper on as well then there's more these are beautiful i love these you've got all kind of like your ephemera sheets within these yeah, as so you well. could put them through them fancy cutting machines that you've got and you could cut those out if you so wished or you can get your good old-fashioned scissors out or a scalpel and cut them out and layer them up we've beautiful. put um, colored backgrounds behind so that if you didn't going to go into the, some of the trickier bits you can leave it as is that's a good good idea i love that so there you go details are on your screen now let me explain because i've got a couple of different prices that have shown up on your screen so let me explain what that is all about you now, do get everybody more, says, pardon you do get more oh what they missed oh, right they... right yes, in the front yes, you get you i mean do. if you want to come to the overhead i've got one on the box here Fabulous. rather than the little bag here um and you've got the clasp in there so it locks in like this you get your uh, four little pins so that you can pop it in so if i open it up and slide it along you can see with this one they're just popping out there because i did it after i put the thing on so what you want to do is put your put your pins in first and then put your cover in and you don't see where your mechanisms are then you also get to slide that back over you get four corners so if you want to use four corners not candles corners <laughs> you can slot them in now i haven't actually glued these in position because i wanted to slide them out so you can see that they're thick enough to go onto an mdf piece oh, okay. and you just put like your gel medium in there so pop some gel medium in then slot it in and squeeze and it's glued in position Brilliant. okay um, and you can see that I've got um, about three layers of card on this particular one and it's sliding in and out of there quite nicely and I've given it a squeeze if that makes sense lovely Thank so you, you get Charmaine. those in with it as well you do I completely forgot it's all about telling you the price I completely forgot about those apologies but as I was saying we've got the one day special price that everybody is saving with the one day special getting all of these fabulous elements there um, you've got your papers you've got your templates you've got those gorgeous little um, brackets and also corners brilliant price but freedom members you are saving even more you can see that the price is coming right the way down to 22 pounds and 49 pence it is a phenomenal price bundle you have been loving this now of course lots of you become freedom members we have our event term so the weekend before last lots of you became freedom members then so of course if you did become a freedom member this might be your first opportunity after that event to take advantage of discounts because of course that means you can save on your post and packing being a freedom member but, but you will also get that additional saving giving you the ability for you to get hold of these and you can see there the details on your screen there 056417 if you're wanting to get hold of these don't forget we will see more from these templates but it's giving the opportunity to make that flip flap book so you can see again here one has been created using stamps using the fabulous dies which i'll tell you about as the hour progresses but all this interactive i love this you kind of got these flip flap elements that you're opening up you've got interest within these they're changing in and out and giving you a wonderful overall look and of course with those gorgeous papers as well um, as soon as these arrive you're going to be able to create with them love it 22 pounds and 49 pence if you're a freedom member very very popular and as i say 40 percent of the stock having gone already so zero five six four one seven if you're wanting to get hold of that one now before we head over to charmaine can i very very quickly show you um a charm set this is beautiful and the reason i want to squeeze this in because 
over 70% of the stock has gone. Charmaine, this is a bumper bundle. There's is, loads in here. Yeah, and the good quality as well. You can feel by the quality. Sorry, we haven't got touchy vision. You've got 100% cotton. It's not a synthetic Beautiful. cotton um, lace that's on there. It's 100% cotton. And then you've also got all those metal charms and you've got little brads that go with them as well. And the good quality so you could even turn them into a charm bracelet. Just add some chain to it and you're sorted. But there's loads and loads and loads and loads and loads well, in there. there is, there's loads in there. Um, lots of dimension with these as you can see there. Um, but when they've gone, they've gone. We can't get any more of these. You've also got things like your clock hands as well. Don't forget, if you've gone for your one day special, you have your clock faces. So the realism of these fabulous little um, hands there, as you can see, brilliant. But it's the dimension and the depth that you've got from these. Here, um, it's quite tricky for me to hold this, actually, because they are so it's weighty. Big, <laughs> they are weighty out the, out I mean, these are incredible. The depth that you've got with these, they're not flat-backed. They are dimension all the way around and all these lovely little characters there. But if you're wanting them, you need to be quick. Dare I say, if you can stretch to a couple of sets of those, then do, because that price on your screen, that £32 saving, we don't know if we're ever going to see these again. So make sure you get hold of them while you've got the chance. 088498. And of course, you'll find those on the website alongside everything else. The dies that I touched on a few moments ago, they're on the website. They are always popular. You can add those into your basket as well. And then, of course, if you do want to create your... Um, oh, no, I was going to tell you about the ring binder, but it's gone, so I shan't. But we've got stencils. Pick and mix beautiful stencils there. Any three of those for £14.97. And then, of course, we've got some of the fabulous Dolly Dimple stamps, which are always popular. So you can check those out on the website as well but Charmaine um, talk us through those dies because this is the thing these make these fabulous edges yeah when we we first brought set one set one is if I flip that there this is this is set one we first brought set one and you've got it'll cut in one area but okay. it won't cut the opposite but then you have an extra die to pop in so you can do your long borders I'll grab my board from behind and explain that in a minute so you've got all these fancy edges which are whether it be the negative or the positive side of it so I like to say that it's positive and positive and when you're layering them together in different size paper and um, depending on whereabouts you cut them you get the different effects so like for example you might get that effect from one side and the opposite would be this side and um, makes great books this one as well and folded over also makes um, wonderful what do they call them now like purses as well oh, yeah. so you get all these funky shapes which to be honest, I cannot be bothered with my pair of scissors to do it, and I certainly couldn't do, you know, the little bits that are like that. And when you layer them together, it gives you really nice either journal pages or cards as well. And if I turn to this one, this is a mixture of um, set two and three. So when we had set two and three on um, not so long ago, it sold out in the first hour yeah. of launch, and I was yeah. just like... Oh my goodness. <laughs> so we managed to get it back. I didn't get it on the website in time and we brought it back today. Oh, okay. So can you see how all I those think it looks all fabulous. just that looks beautiful just in just a by room. your little slim pieces getting a bigger size and a bigger size and a bigger size if you want to do it like that and it gives you all these elements and once you start to decorate them up and add things to it it mm -hmm. looks really really funky so I'm going to close that so I've taken you a quick run through there shall we get to demo yeah let's go let's, for it let's um, the demo. edge um, dies incidentally set number two on the screen there but do check out the website you'll find all the different combinations there so what are we up to then? Right, I'm going to do a couple of uh, fast ones. I promise, I promise, I promise. So in the, tem in the templates, because somebody in me is going to say, speed up, speed up. And what we've got in the templates is you've got the two main bodies of your card, these two, okay? So you've got a front and a back. Now you can glue them together like this. And these okay. are your score lines that bring it round. Or you could glue it together like this, obviously making sure that your spines are free, if that makes sense. Yes. Yep. So you can t you can tweak with it. You can alter the sizes um, by making the spine slightly smaller. Just do a little bit of measurements once you've got it and come up with different things. Now, the back piece is to give you a nice tidy bottom because everybody likes a tidy bottom. Don't they, just? Or they like to think they have got one. <laughs> so what I mean by a tidy bottom is if I grab this one, if you've glued two pieces together, we've got um, this little gap here because I like to do everything so it works out of A4 card and then you can place that one on ah. and that will give you a nice tidy bottom also it will reinforce it so whether you do your gluing so that your line is on the outside or if we flip it this way around because I've already covered this one and you you take it the opposite way around so it goes like that 
and you've got a tidy bottom, you might want to have a tidy inside. Yep, clever. Makes sense. So that is the simplest bit of of the process. Nice and easy, that's your mechanism. And when you're building these up, you're building them up flat, okay. which is easy, so you can even carry on stamping on them. So I've cut two pieces, so I'm gonna glue them together. Now, am I gonna glue them this way like that, Hayley? Or I've already got them covered, so Ooh. I can change them the other way around. So I've oh, got wow. card on one side and paper on the other side. So I can switch it, and I can glue it so it goes like this. That is clever. Oh, I don't know. Don't make me make a decision. I kind of like it that way, I think, right, because I like stick yeah. that. So all we're going to do is we're going to take um, the PVA. You can go with red liner if you so wish. Okay. And we're going to put the PVA on here like that and spread it about. Now, take a little bit more care. You don't want to see it white because white is too much. And it will take longer to dry. So we get a decent coverage on and then we spread that glue around. You can always add more, but taking off is a nightmare. It'll just make your paper curl and it wastes your time, your money and your effort. So once we've got all that covered, job to good one. You, what you want to do is line that up with your score line. And once you're happy with it, if I've cut it right, we won't get a border, but I probably haven't because I was rushing. Get up there like that. And bring this one over to you, making sure that that fold folds in and you haven't taken it beyond, beyond the area you want. Make sure that that one folds in and you're ready to go and start decorating. Okay, does that make sense? It does. Looks okay. fabulous. Right, then you also have in them, so I've cut all my templates, temple, temples, <laughs> templates <laughs> out, you have got flaps. You have got, so that's my layering one, so we've got a tag, which... And then you've got your matted and layering piece on there, so the measurements are thought for you. Um, that was another one. Then you've got your bendy um, flap or tag. So there's the tag bit that glues and it bends and it flips like that. Does that make sense? It does. That's so we'll show you what um, we've got them in the samples there. Charmaine, then, yes, can look. I very quickly jump in? I'm ever so sorry. I didn't want to interrupt, but I've left it till now. But now I need to tell you, technically sold out with those charms. I, I did get notification that it was a limited stop, but I didn't want to interrupt the flow. So apologies. If you've got them in your basket, you need to be checking your basket out because you could miss out on these ones. So 24.9 um, 88 you'll know if they're in your basket. I will let everybody know that they've fallen out of your basket. If it's a case that you leave them there for any longer than 10 minutes so it's kind of like your first warning really so 088498 sorry Charmaine please no, carry I was on I was hoping you weren't going to say this had got <laughs> <laughs> it's like oh, I want to finish it <laughs> so what I've done is I've pre-cut some um, pieces already from those I haven't shown you all all the bits and pieces but I'm just going to start building them up now I've also done a black one so I've used the paper this is the papers and the cards that are in the kit okay and then I've cut out some black tags so you can use your whoo that went flying you can use um, your bits of cardstock that you've already got and your pattern papers and things like that and I'm going to build this one up with some plain black so I just need to grab um, a score finger so I'm going to pop this in where the tabs are and I'm going to give that a quick start like that and then I'm going to bend this one also the kit if you don't want to make the book it will make loads and loads of cards loads of cards as well loads and loads and loads of cards but why would you not want to make a book <laughs> so uh, what do I do with the books once I've made them apart from I store them at home <laughs> <laughs> I do give a lot of things off for charity so what I do with them is sometimes I'll put photos in then they're the ones that I would give off to the person whose photos are in so it might be photos from holidays it might be birthday photos it might be baby photos things like that you know more sort of keepsakes wedding wedding pictures and things um, that will go in there or it could be funnies so if I'm just sending somebody you know random bits and pieces just to cheer them up it it oh. could be funnies in there also you can put your own words in you can so, and photos and all sorts I mean yeah. the interactive element that you've got you have a photo on one side and a, a, a funny comment on the other side sort of thing yeah you could take the, you put the photo in you could scan the photo and have two photos and then you could draw mustaches on it <laughs> you if it's your indeed. daughter <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so she flips from one side where she's looking really pretty <laughs> to the other side where she's got a fake oh, tash and a it? beard. It cool <laughs> yes, it's naughty in my house, it is. <laughs> so I'm just giving it a good rub to make sure that that, and I, and I have noticed that that is not where I need it to be. Okay. So because I've, I shouldn't have rubbed first, should I? Should have concentrated on what I'm doing. So I'm gently, because I've used PVA, I'm going to gently peel it back. Now we cover these hinges up so it's no wee problem. So you have got time. Slow and steady wins the race, apparently. You know, if you're a hedgehog or something like that. <laughs> so get that glue on, spread it about. Um, with regard to the, the kind of the, the flip flap element, what mm -hmm. sort of weight should you be working with when you, you're tracing these and cutting them? Um, Two fifty upwards. But if you're going to okay. layer, if you're going to layer up, you could start off with something like. You could actually start off with a 200, believe it or not. Okay. Because if you're putting paper on top of a, a 200, so you've got a 120 GSM paper mm -hmm. on a 200, and then you've got it on the opposite side, and then you start to put, say you wanted to put some decoupage layer on, yes, yeah. or any ephemera on, and maybe you wanted to put glossy accents on, it starts to build up. That's a good and point, I think actually, there should yeah. be a sample there somewhere with a load of microbeads on the front of it. It looks kind of hazy. Ooh, hold on, I Give you something that. to look for. And when you feel the front of it, it's really mega, mega heavy. Now, went a little bit heavy on the microbeads. That's the one. How heavy is that? Yes, yes. Quite so once right, you start yeah. layering up and putting all your, you know, your ah. goos and portions and things on, it looks really cool. So what I've done is I've got one flap on there. It's really heavy, that front of it. I it. Can't yeah. help but look inside them, can you? Yeah, you see the round when you open it up? Yes. Um, on the other side. Yeah. Has it gone? That one? Yeah, that one. That's done with one of the dies, so I've cut it in uh... chunks. I'll have to do that. I'll do that on this one, I think. So I've got one one flap in there already, and I'm going to add another flap to the opposite side, just so that you can see where, um, where it's going and how you do it, if that makes sense. And then we'll jump forward to another one. So if I had the smaller flaps, I, would, um, I could glue it here to this one, so it was going in that direction. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm using a big one, so I'm going to bring it so it comes in this way. Does that make sense? It here? does, yeah. So you're joining it where your hinges are. So we'll get two flaps going in that one. And, of course, there's flags and there's bendy ones, but we've got plenty of them done here that we can go to. Now, you can actually make a book just using, and you can use the circles, you can actually make a book. So where the bend is, is where I want to be putting it there. Okay. And then we can cover it up with a hinge. Get you in there. Are you in position? You're in position. And you did it the wrong way around. So I'll bring it back again. You want it to go that way, don't you, Charmaine? This is when people would be watching, screaming at the screen, saying, Charmaine, you're doing it the wrong but way no, around. The thing is that people at home, especially if this is a new concept for them, mm -hmm. um, it, it's kind of useful to know that if you do do it and it, it doesn't kind of flow right and you suddenly realise that you need to, to rearrange it, then you can do. Nothing is set in stone. That's the key thing. No, isn't it? I mean, if you, I mean, some people like to use a red liner tape. I'm not going to knock red liner tape, but for me, uh, I met it for far too many accidents. I need to be able to pull pull it back and start again. And so, the nice idea is you can be making these as bases and then adding your additional bits and pieces as time goes on. So you yeah. almost have a session of repeating this process. So um, I suppose over time, it's one of those things that kind of gets ingrained and, uh, yeah automatically do it it does so what once you start to layer up as many as you want because you could just keep going you could add a pile of them on there as as because you've got that depth there to build it up okay so once you've got them you check that they start to move so one's going that way i could add another one here to go that way i can yeah. add other ones here and i can add more layers on top of it so it just <laughs> keeps going like pages of a book does that make sense it does, i yeah. can go this way with the smaller ones if i want to go with larger ones it's going to flip out of the book okay and it's up to you whether or not you like oh, that so they go beyond the covers yeah yeah and that's it so and that's how it lays back up and then if we want to decorate the front up with like circles and things we can add this one to the front of it we can bring it in the middle but make sure you're only gluing to one side it kind of looks like a camera when it's like that if you want to bring it over here and then change the look of the card and chop these hinges off you want to take another one and you glue it to the back side uh, there yeah. you've got rid of those pieces you've changed the 
the look of it. If you want to do the same on the other side, you can have two circles at either side, so it starts to look different. Like Very that. similar to what um, Anne Marie's done. But on it the gives front you the now, base. The That's it the thing. The base. It's all about it gets you started. I love this. I've not seen these stamps before. They're fabulous. I've got. Them. Well, Disco they're on the show ball. as well. We'll have to get them yeah. out. They're cool, aren't they? Um, and again, as Charmaine says, you've got the base. You've got the template for the circle there. Obviously, if you've got things like dies, then you can cut those out. Work with those if you wanted to as well. And then you start the fabulous task of adding your embellishments, adding your detail. The die is being used here to again add interest to those different elements. Little pockets can be created with the dies. The edges there incorporated. So once you've got the base, it's what you do to it that is the key thing. Bringing in your papers, bringing in your die cuts, bringing in your fabulous stamped images there. Adding little contents, making those kind of little bookmark elements, using all of those different um, te templates that you've got. You've got all the fabulous little flags that you're going to be able to use with your papers, but use them as your interactive elements as well, as you can see there. Flipping one side, flipping to the other, doing little kind of zigzags and interactive elements with them as well. I think it's really, really clever idea, and you are loving these so much. It's kind of like a, a never-ending little project that you're going to be turning it over, playing around with it, and creating some absolutely amazing... Per, um, kind of little projects that you will have loads of fun with. Now, £24.99 is your one-day special price, so everybody's saving with the one-day special. But Freedom members, you have got that additional saving, meaning that you are saving £9.50, bringing the price right the way down to £22.49p. You are getting loads within here. Obviously, you're going to get all your gorgeous papers that we've just been talking about. You're going to get your templates that Charmaine's been working with. You're also going to get your 10 Ready, Steady, Go backgrounds. They're 250 50 GSM, so incredible weights with regards to those. You've got your 10 designer papers, again, they're 120 GSM, but of course, if you're adding those to your cardstock as well, it's adding on that additional detail, giving it the stability. Then you've got your ephemera images, you've got 40 of those mixed up, and again, this is a really clever idea. If I show you those pages, I think this is so clever that they're actually on a printed background. So if you worry about those white edges, and certainly certain elements, the things like the bird here, where you've got the legs there, you wouldn't necessarily want to be cutting um, with your craft knife because it'll end up with no legs he certainly would if I was cutting him out but you've got the background there so you can kind of fussy cut just go around the edge there um, and get that fabulous result you've got your 33 toppers in here as well so you've got all of this content some of which being cardstock and then in addition to that you've got those amazing antique elements there so you've got your corners that are easily malleable you can just squeeze them with your fingers it's not tricky to do but you've got the depth there that you can be putting your MDF in there it could be your grey board whatever you're using and then your closure that wonderful little closure there giving it that fabulous finesse that's the key thing it's all about the finish with this one as well it's going to create an absolutely amazing project and you'll be able to use the template over and over and over again but over 40 percent of the stock has gone it's an amazing one day special a phenomenal deal and you have been loving it zero five six four one seven if you're wanting yours then please do take advantage of course if you took advantage of our event a couple of weeks ago then you will still be a freedom member so that will mean that the price on your screen is the price that you're paying delivered to your door um, 22 pounds and 49 pence so yeah do take advantage of that one um, and uh, make sure you look at some of the other goodies that we've got on the show as well because uh, all the different things that Charmaine's working with you're finding them you're popping them in your baskets you're checking them out alongside your one day special and I think that's the key thing everything works so well together which is why the show's been put together the way it has including those wonderful edge dies now we've got different sets with regards to these so set number one is a very good place to start and this is the original set now Charmaine was showing us this one where you've got that cut edge but then you've kind of got your second die that gives you that extra detail with these it's not just about the edges though you've got your decorative elements your florals in there your kind of little bauble crowns all sorts of different elements in there that you will be able to use over and over again now 21 pounds and 99 pence rapidly approaching 30 percent of the stock has gone of that one so if you're wanting that one 265133 is your item number then after set number one we've got naturally set number two lots of you added these in um, alongside as well i'm taking advantage of these i'll show them all coming together 
together in just a few moments. But if you're wanting set number two, again, you've got your innies and your outy edges. Um, some of them are kind of your positives and your positives, as Charmaine likes to call them, because she doesn't like negatives. Um, 968104, but over 40% of the stock has gone. And then the newest release of these, which were phenomenally busy because so many are adding to that. You want the full range of these, and it makes sense to do so. £21.99, and pence two three three. Two, two, three, but over 40% of those have gone as well. And this is brilliant because the way that these work, they give you your edges, they give you that interactive element that you've got there. So you can see where you've got your pages with the shapes, with those elements. That's what the dies are doing. They're giving you that shape. They're giving you that interactive element that you are going to be able to create with those. So that's looking at a larger um, little kind of album or book there. This one again here, using this idea, using the concept where you've got the shapes, you've got all of that detail, all the fabulous little embellishments created using the dies as well and of course the fabulous characters that we've seen so it adds the interest adds those multiple layers look like you've got, almost got like a little belt um, strap there wrapping around there but this is where you've got it where you've got the edges you've got those little flip um, pages there as you can see really mixing it up really giving you that added interest and this is what it's all about isn't it getting that interest into those pages love those stamps as well those characters brilliant um 21 pounds and 98 pence again it's a very popular one and if you wanting yours two two three two two three we're going to pop back and see Charmaine in a few moments but let me tell you about the stencil pick and mix because you've been looking at this one as well don't blame you this is a brilliant deal. You're going to choose any three of these for £14.97, and they are brilliant. Lovely size with these, because they're kind of like your A5 size, and they've got their little holes. So again, you can put these into your ring binder, and you know exactly where they are, um, and uh, go back to them time and time again. So many different styles of these. There's loads to choose from. So whether you want things like almost like a lightning bolt that you can see there. I love that with the rivets there and the screw heads. Brilliant idea as well. Um, and then you kind of got your little kind of spheres and your dots and all sorts. Some really nice designs. And of course, your little whirly gigs, as you can see there, your spirals. Love the trees as well. Um, at £14.97, and pence, you're saving £9 on those. And again, as we mentioned, if you're a Freedom member from our event a couple of weeks ago, that's delivered to your door. Three of those stencils, less than a fiver each. Brilliant value. 047888 if you're wanting those as well. We've also got some stamp sets. So if you all took those little characters a few moments ago and you wondered where they came from, well, here you go. This is they. Now, these are brilliant because these are your Dolly Divas. And you've got them in disguise. Here. So this one is peculiar. Um, and uh, look at 11 stamps in total. Um, and again, you'll notice as well the depth of the detail within those stamps. Like the brick wall, we've got those in the stencils as well. So everything cross pollinates, it gives you a brilliant way of getting that overall result. So 044420, 15 pence and 99 pence for that particular set. Next one that we've got for you is um, Farah. Farah, Farah. Um, um, $15.99. Again, keeping that continuity going with the characters. Absolutely brilliant little characters you can see there. These look amazing. Love it. If you're wanting this particular one for um, Farrah, then 07469 um, for if you're wanting those. And then, uh, yeah, add that one into your basket. Keep a note of these item numbers because you will go for them all as time goes on. Next one that we've got for you. Oh, look at this one. This is Donna. Absolutely beautiful designs. And again, with Donna, you get 11 stamps, £15.99, pence, four nine five seven six six if you are wanting those as well. And the last one, but by no means the least, this one is, um, who is this one? Sabrina. Oh, nice set, like this one. And this is the one with the disco ball. So if you're wanting this particular one, then uh, the details are there on your screen there. Um, 15 99 371743. So you can go for them all together if you wanted to, incidentally. You can pop them in alongside your one day special. You can probably spread the cost then as well. So, Charmaine, what's next? What you got planned? We're going to do next. Right, okay. So we've got two pieces in, and um, I've matted and there just one on there. And what I've done is I've die cut from set number one. So if I grab this out of the um, on the edge die, so I've die cut this one and chopped into it. So what I've done is I've die cut it here and then I die cut it there and then the bits that I've die cut there, so I move that to one side, are uh, these two pieces like that. Yeah, that's it. And I've chopped them. And I'm going to do the same with it. So I left that one so I could show you what I was doing. So I've taken um, one of the 
circles out of the kit and I'm now going to glue these pieces around to make a round around to make around around to make around <laughs> now I'm using I'm using black card because it will disguise some things there we go there this so this is my um, 250 GSM card lovely um, just bring those details up on the screen. You're going to get 50 sheets of this for less than a tenner. Um, that's a good price for 250 GSM card, especially with black card as well. Yeah, it's a true black all the way to the core. And um, when you die cutting with this, it just die cuts a dream. And it's not too thick when you start to add all your layers on that your stuff's going to fall to pieces or go good wiggly point. woggly. So that's the reason why I bring it. So we get that layer going on like so she says and then we're adding another layer into there as well like that so it's not going to be like a perfect circle because i don't do perfect and pop some glue on there give that a wiggle so i would spend a little bit more time with the glue but i'm not because i don't have to so I'll pop that one on there and then once you get like your pens and you go all the way around you can add elements to it as well and make it funky monkey there we go get that on there and then we get the next one so i quite like this edge here so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to wiggle that one around because right. i can use that on another project as well because i'm a little bit i'm frugal what, yeah frugal that's the word i'm allowed to use isn't it <laughs> Right, okay. I'm just going to show you that if you use the two dies together, you can get that border. Can you see that oh, one there? Yes. So I've used some of the accent stamps um, on here and coloured in today. And these are the flowers that are in that same die set as well. Lovely. So done it for the edge of the card, which opens like that. Oh, just clever. position your die slightly up so it's not cutting into it here. And then I've cut this as a border by using... Um, the next one as well. So I've added that one which will cut that away so it doesn't have to be a page. So I'll move that to one side. Let's get some glue on there and pop the glue in. Might need to cut that little uh, bit out but I can do that in a second. I pop it in and you can see that it matches up. Yeah. Ah. Wiggle. Wiggle until I'm happy and you're going to go bye bye. Bye bye. There we go. Yeah, yeah, I'm a little bit crazy. I talk to myself on my card. So <laughs> get that going. Some of my best conversations are with myself. Oh, yeah. I always win an argument sometimes, <laughs> <That's true>. actually. <laughs> but sometimes I don't. You know, I really tell myself off. You know. But if you can't tell yourself off, then, you know, that's sad, isn't it? Right, so just going to pull those little bits. So just a little bit coming out there as well. So it's making it different. I'm and not expecting a perfect circle. I'm not expecting a perfect scalloped around the outside edge. It wasn't designed to be like that it's designed to be funky and funky does it for me so get that pressed down and I'll show you the horrible mess on the back because I'm like that so you can see it's all jiggly jiggly on there if you're going to see the back depending on how you're positioning it then that's when you would take um, something else like another one and you'd place it on the top ah, like yes. that you know, yeah. look kind of looks like a rose that doesn't it, it so does, you'd hide yeah. the sins but we're not we're going to move it around like that we're going to bring in one of the books that i was doing which is there just hide it so you're going to be for wrong and you're going to be for wrong and you're going to go close like that and you can see that this can then be an element on top of that now if That's i want nice. it to go all the way across like that okay yeah Go with that one so decide which one we're going to glue it on do i want it that way around or that way around do i want the card to be the piece to be like that that to be the top and that to be bottom choices are yours so i'm going to go with there i'm going to open and flip so that's where i want it to there i'm going to place my hand here i'm going to move i'm going to grab glue and i'm going to carefully do like a rectangle of of glue in the areas where I think it needs it. That's a good tip doing it that way. It's it's the only way I can do it. Oh, because... there's many a card I've stuck together by putting <laughs> glue over the whole thing. All these fancy ones and put the glue where it shouldn't be. And then I do these little techniques and then all of a sudden I put it on and I've done it back to front. <laughs> put it in the wrong place. So, because then I'd probably go like something like that instead of flipping. So we're going to have it like this. You're going to stick to, yep there i'm going to reopen i'm going to position i'm going to turn would have been easier and do it something like 
that. And you've got time to then rub away whatever you want to rub away. So we've got you going on in there. You've got that, yep, happy chapper. So, like I said, if you want to cover it up, because now you can see. So if we put that on, then people start to think, oh, how the heck have you done that? Especially if it's all done out of the same paper, ah, because yes. then it almost looks seamless. Um, and that's pretty cool as well. Just depends on what look you're going for. So we get the glue on there. Right, stop squeezing, start to spray it so it disappears and it's just clear. Clear, clear, clear. Lovely. Charmaine, just while you're doing that, yep. I've, I've got a public, public service announcement. And I did warn you, um, but one person didn't check out their basket with those little Alice charms. So we've got one left. So if you thought that you missed out, if you didn't manage to get it into your basket, but you wanted them, you've got an opportunity to do so. Now, don't let that opportunity pass. Make sure you are checking out your basket. Very quickly, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Probably won't even have time to bring it up because I know how popular they were. So you're going to get all these fabulous embellishments and you're also going to get that gorgeous 100% um, copper and lace there, as you can see. Three metres on each of those cards there. So you're going to get a lot within the um, nine metres in total of that lace. 61 of those metal charms. And you're also going to get your mini brads with those as well. £24.88. It is going to go for a second time there because I know somebody will be taking the advantage of that. I certainly would be if I was sitting in your, your position. But what I would be doing is making sure I check out my basket so I don't give that opportunity to somebody else. So if they're in your basket now, if you are that person that got hold of them, make sure you're checking your basket out. Otherwise, I'll just have to do it all again, won't I? Um, back over to you, Charmaine. OK, I've cut out some of the ephemera and I'm just going to sort of position it around and apply, play around with this. So I'm going to open it up because you can open it up and you can have it all flat and you can work on it in flat. So we've got um, treat people the way you want to be treated, OK? Oh, nice. So we're going to pop that one on there. So we've got a nice little sentiment. And I think I want to put it on with foam pads. Uh, foam on a roll. Here we go. Foam on a roll. Foam on a roll. Here we go. Foam on a roll. So my foam on a roll is, is a one, me one millimetre one. And when I want it to be two millimetres, then I just double it over like that. Does ah, that make sense? Okay, and I know that you've always got, well, nearly always got these as seven day savers, haven't you? So I like one thickness that does all. Okay, <laughs> So on you go like so. And I'm not going to press down totally because part of it is going to stick out of the page because okay. I can. So we'll tear off a chunk there. We'll stick him on your finger for Ron. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll hold the bit where the glue is there. Mm -hmm. Curl you in. And that's the piece that I'm allowed to stick over the edge there. Like, yep. Jobs are good. So that's on there. Then we're going to take this. And, and again, that ephemera sheet. I mean, this so much on there. There is a, this just so much and I've gone in and I've cut out all the little uh, twiddly butterflies and we haven't. I'm going to put a little bit of PVA glue. We haven't put on the antennas because you can draw them back on. Yeah, They're an absolute pain point. in the rear end to uh, cut out out there. So I'm then going to have that piece go back on my finger for a minute here. <laughs> Alright, don't. Uh, I'm going to have that piece flat I've got PVA on here because I want the edges to touch. I'm going to roll that into four, so that becomes like a four millimetre chunk. Okay. I'm going to pop that in there, so that's going to be raised up. And then my two fingers either side of that to dome oh, that. Very clever. Okay, so where the PVA, if it didn't dry, if it, it has dry because I've been really skinny with it. On you go. And then hold that in possession and that will give it a little domed effect. Of course, you can use, like, you know, the uh, 3D ju glue juju <laughs> glue gel on there. Got that one on. And then we will have, do we want a birdie? Or do we want a butter? Do we want flowers and butterflies? Ooh, I kind of like the flowers. Flowers and butterflies. Yeah. OK, so... Um, Not that I've got anything against birds. We just, yeah, I either would have done. But I like the pink that you've got because it kind of echoes with the, the, the other um, side, mm. yeah. So a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. Get that on there, pop that on. Hey, Glee, what are you doing? You're going for a run? <laughs> so put that on. You could, again, you could use some of the glue to make it more three-dimensional. We are going to actually do that with the yon butterfly, if I can get my thing to work. Uh, no, we're not. We're going to have it flat. That uh, determined that one. So a little bit of glue on that one. 
We are and very, very busy. Um, so much so that if you are placing your order by phone, you probably will have realised already that we have got queues um, on the phone. So apologies. We will get to you as soon as we possibly can. Can only apologise. Um, purely down to, um, obviously, people placing their orders. So, uh, yeah, whether it's the one-day special you're going for, whether you're going for those dyes, which I'll recap on again in a few moments, Basically, anything that you're going for, if you're trying to order on the phone lines, we will get to you as soon as we can. I can only apologise for keeping you waiting, but if you can place your order on the website or maybe jump onto the app, place your order that way, you will be bypass those queues and ensure that you're going to get the items that you want to get hold of, because that's the thing. Sometimes if you're ordering on the phone line, you can miss out on them as well. So just bear that in mind. But we will get to you, don't worry. Um, so, yeah, whichever way you order, just do it quickly, basically. Uh, that looks fabulous, Charmaine. Shall we do a quick pocket? Oh, go on then, yeah. Okay, so we've got front frontage coverage. So, you know, you can build it up, you can layer it up, you can put whatever you want on the front there. But we've got something going on on the front, and I'm kind of doing it all like higgledy-piggledy and back to front. Now, here's one that I did um, uh, previously, and I've die-cutted it, and I've gone in, and I've done... Let's return it like... Turn it that way. Done like little curves around. There is an actual embossed line on here. And this is from set number three, okay. I believe. No, it's not. It's from set number two. <laughs> Come There's on, There's a down. lot of dies set in all three two. sets. So, yeah. Set number two. <laughs> right, so I've die cut top and, top and bottom. I've done these twiddles, but I've changed my mind. I'm not going to have it as a topper now. And I'm going to slice off and make it into a pocket. So here we go. So it'll give me a two for because I've got one for one project and one for another. So let's get that sliced. So right, lots of you've been going for set number two as well. Um, half a stock has gone. Eight dies there, twenty one ninety nine. And I think this is brilliant because sometimes when you look at the dies, it, it's understanding how you can use them. That's the key thing, Charmaine. It's why the demos are so brilliant. I think what I'll do is just have a major cutting session, um, and then we'd start like bouncing ideas. Uh, that we go with that one. What time have we got? <laughs> right, okay, so we'll slice that one and we'll chop that little bit off there. And that's going to go on there and it's going to create a pocket. And how it's going to create a pocket is simply by the glue. The glue will do the pocket. So we will have glue at the bottom or you could use your tape on this one. Okay. And you will have glue at the edge bit there like that. Now I know in one of the books, and again it's the one with all the beads on the front, when you flip to that I've used one of the other dies and created a flip kind of pocket. So it's like a book inside it. And then I die cut it out uh, with the die, the corresponding die that goes with it, the pages inside. Have you spotted it? Very That's the clever. one. Yeah. So That's you can see the pages. So you idea. just repeatedly put. Actually, what I actually did is I put so many sheets of paper in there and die cut them all at one go and then trimmed it. But it shows Ooh, that packed. perfect edges there being yeah. used again to create another little pocket for a tag. Well, that's the advantage yeah. of dies, isn't it? The fact that you've got all those perfect layers And as I well. love it as well because you've kind of got that doodly element with regards to it. So you can see that funky element. And, and I love the idea that you've done with the white pen on the piece that you're working with as well. Adding that dot detail. I mean, your little paint pen's a brilliant opportunity to add that additional element. Right, I can't find the, uh, the one that I wanted, so I'm, I'm going to glue that on the back side of their one just for spade. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave them as an element like that. And we're going to grab a clip. Here we go. So, little bulldog clip. Do you remember them little tiny pegs? You could use those oh, as well. Yes. So, I'm just going to peg them two together. Now, I would glue that onto some card and then it could be a note there. And I'm going to pop that inside there like that. Does that make sense? So, that's become, that flap has become a pocket. Remember, we will cover this piece up. Uh, when we finished adding to it, if that makes sense. So the dies on there as an element, and then with the remaining piece of die, which I put where, Hayley? You're supposed to be in my eyes. Did you oh, not know that? That, that, that was your new job, where? Where's, you know, the bit that I chopped off? Oh, the other part oh, of that one. It's on the guillotine. I Who put it there? Way there? I can't see that far. <laughs> Who did that? I haven't got the long vision eyes in. Did you not know that was your job? <laughs> <laughs> right, get back in, you little devil. Uh, we need eyes on us, finger bobs, don't we, to find <laughs> things. <laughs> OK, so this piece that's remaining, it's not far off that side. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm actually, I think, 
Mm, mm. Right, this is when he starts to play. So that would be where my score line is. But if I just fold it all back up on itself and bring that round like that, oh, and yeah. if I glue it in like that, it's going to pop out like yeah, that. Does that nice. make sense? Yeah. Shall we go for it? Yeah, I like right. that. Okay, so what we will do, but it'd be a bit closer. So what we will do is you will be in the hinge there and we will trim off. So we take that and we fold it. Now I'm doing this by eye to where my hinge is. Now you might not be able to see because my line is... So that's where my hinge is if I do that. So I'm folding okay. it to my hinge, okay? So I know what I can get rid of. And this is how we play with things. So you've got all these bits and pieces. and You've got the things in the kit that tell you um, what to do. You've got picture instructions. And I'm just winging away here but with bits and pieces. But this is what it's all about. It's like doodling with cardstock, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a... It, it evolves. You might have a, a rough plan to start with, but then you'll find yourself going off in different tangents because you can do it. You've got all the elements in there that will allow you to do so. And I think that's the key thing. And I love it where you've got that lovely decorative edge kind of poking out from the top um, and it's something you see featuring in many of the little books and also this one here I didn't notice this one earlier on but on the back of it where you've got that flat um, the kind of the back of your, your, your little book that you're making here using those um, templates again making your little pockets on the back there so utilizing every last bit of space that you've got and then of course creating those beautiful elements where it all comes together love it so much now this one I think it's got a magnet on there it has um, and again those edges using those papers popping little elements them up as you go they just work so so well I like so those that dyes. one was done by samantha and um samantha didn't have long to play with it she went oh, when okay. papers came out to her so it's all been done with the one day special very, that one. Very and, the and the yeah. dies as well so we've got that one popped in now i can leave it as a flap yeah mm -hmm. And if we fold it round, because you've always got time to have a look at it like, like that, and okay. you can see that it's coming across. Now, if I wanted to go all the way to the edge, then I would have had to have that card longer than this piece, because this one is coming the other way. But I quite like it, yeah. because now I'm seeing that if I want to add something to this edge here, I can do, so I can have something popping up. There's nothing stopping me from adding another feature. It would have been cool if it had gone all the way um, I kind of like something edge there. popping up, though. Yeah, yeah, but we can have, you know, something else yeah. popping up. So as we open it, we've got to decide where the something's going to pop from. So the something that we want to pop from, if I put my finger in there, it's going to be about there. When we close it up, it's going to come up it here. Could be one of the yeah. little characters from the stamps and, and different things that we've got, yeah. That's a really mm. good idea. Now, whether or not I've got one, well, don't worry. It's, it's something that we can look at. Mm. Shall I quickly show yeah. everybody that what we've yeah, got within the one that. day special? You can have a rummage around rummage to your heart's content so the one day special has got loads in there that's the top and bottom of it you're starting off with the amazing obviously the cover there explaining everything you've got but don't throw this away because all of these little elements you'll still use those on things like your tags but then it's the base this is what you need you need the templates that will allow you to create your outside cover your inside elements the interactive elements that Charmaine's been talking about here you can see where you've got that spine so it's giving you that depth giving you the ability for you to put all those additional pages in there you bendy flag i love the phrase of that one folding in a couple of different directions again to give you those results to give you that interactive content to make it look so amazing then you've got your ephemera you've got 40 um, elements i think it was with regards to these so there's loads and loads of different things you've got obviously the little butterflies in there the vintage theme with these um all sorts of different elements you gentlemen there as you can see uh, at the top then you've got your clock faces these are brilliant beautiful florals and these florals are echo later on with your additional papers so coordinating everything throughout and that is the key thing obviously these you're going to be cutting them out so they're going to be on that paper but then you've got these other elements which are simple shapes simple circles that you can cut out use as your closures and then of course all your sentiments and words which really do make the difference going on to your card bases these are brilliant again as you can see here you've got these pre-printed with all of that interest on there going right the way through those different designs perfect for you to use your templates on straight away and then you've got your papers so again matting and layering adding that interest it is all covered within your one day special it's an amazing deal you've been loving it you really have freedom members you've got that additional discount everybody's saving at least seven pounds on this one so 24.99 phenomenal value for money but even more so 
also if you are a Freedom member because you're getting that extra saving, meaning you're saving £9.50. 056417 will get you everything, but rapidly approaching half the stock has gone. We knew it was going to be a popular one, so we made sure that we've got plenty of these available. I just hope that we've got enough to see us through to 6 o'clock tonight when the price does go up again. So, yeah, add that into your basket. Don't forget to check out some of the additional bits and pieces that Charmaine has brought to us as well because she's been using those throughout her demonstrations as well. So, uh, yeah, the stamps and all sorts of different things with regards to those. So, um, do make sure you're popping those into your baskets and checking your baskets out. We've already had sellouts during this hour as well with those charms. And the dies are proving to be phenomenally busy as well. Lots of you like them. We've got three different sets. We're looking at set number one at the moment. Set number one is going to give you the ability to give you those shapes to the edges of your pages and your pockets. Things like this, die cut to perfection, wherever you're wanting to place it there, meaning that gorgeous curve that you've got there. $21.99, you've got 12 dies in this one. And again, they're just adding that interest to your different pieces when you're working with them. So $21.99, but 30% of the stock has gone of that particular one. 265133. After set number one, we've got set number two. Um, I won't show you finished samples of these because I want to go back and see what show men's up to. But half the stock has gone of this one. You've got your kind of your innies and your outies with these ones because you've kind of got that positive and negative, but there's no negativity in Dolly Dimple's world. Um, 2199 um, 968104 if you fancy those. And finally, set number three. So maybe you're going for these in their kind of order, then uh, this will be the latest one. And this has got that lovely fine detail as you can see there as well. Um, and again, 2199 for these, 233, 223, and approaching half of the stock has gone. So yes, you need to be quick checking out those baskets. Charmaine, we've got about five minutes left. Okay, dokie. So, I've been rushing. <laughs> so, okay, so I'm using stamp set Farrah. So this is this is Farrah. And she's got all these twiddly, wiggly, wiggly, wiggly bits to go with her. She has a face separate, so you can tilt her around, or you can just use a face random, if that makes sense. So we pop that one in. So what I will show you is how you do the face, okay? So the little cheat on the face. So we pop her back. Sounds really strange how we do a face. But we pop that in. And, no, take it out, take it out, Charmaine, take it out. Right, take her out. And what I have got at home is I've got a separate piece of acetate um, where I've stamped a face on using a stays on ink. So if we move her around, wiggle, 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 we can place the acetate like this and you can tilt it and you can have a look at it, oh, not the other I way around. See, you yes. can tilt it and you can have a look at it. And when you're happy with where her face is going to go, so she's looking up like that, she might be looking down like that. So we'll have her... That's clever. Yeah. And then we will grab her wee face here, which is there, and you place that on the acetate, which is like that, roughly. This is when I want to put my head in shot. And then we close the book up on the stamp to impress, grab the stamp, remove the acetate, because then that would be dozy if you left it in. It's that thing I'd do. And ink and stamp and gently press because it's only we stamp so just gentle pressure and there's a face in there. Does love that make it. sense? Yay! Very clever. <laughs> okay, so I did want to show that because if you haven't seen that before, so I'll just pop that stamp set together. Then I give her in a base coat, so I've already started that, so I move that one to one side. So when you went down the line, here's the one that I rushed together. And if you want to add more detail, then what I do is, so given a base layer of alcohol pens, I've done two colours on the top there. In fact, I use the same colours as what I use for a face, so I gave her kind of a blondy look. It. But um, I go back in with pen, uh, pencils over the top of it to add I'm only speedily cutting Speedy that cutting. Out. Can I show you the other characters? Because obviously we've got Farrah that she's working with at the moment. This one here, beautifully all coloured in there with all that detail. They look beautiful with features, but gorgeous with that. There's a whole set of these, incidentally. I don't know which order these are in, but um, I love this one. This one is Serena. Um, so again, using some of those different elements that we've seen as well. And of course, you're getting multiple stamps in these sets. So with Sabrina, you are getting eight stamps in total for $15.99. Next one that we've got is Disco Diva. I love this one. This is so amazing. This one is Donna. So if you wanted to get a hold of Donna, and I love those lips. 
They are all amazing as well. 11 stamps in that stamp set for 15 99 495 766 And the last one to complete the whole set of those, if you are collecting them, then this one, I love that little bob there, very 60s bob. Um, and this one is your festival girl, as you can see from the stamp there, but it's Petula. Um, 11 stamps in total, 15 99 again. So whichever you're going for, if you are treating yourself to all of them alongside the one day special, um, then do check out on the website because you'll find all of the different details there. And they've got lovely simple lines to cut out with these ones Charmaine I have indeed I like simple <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too there we go she's simply cut out she's simply the best <laughs> <laughs> right okay don't sing that'll be everybody switching off <laughs> I've told you before I can fill a room <laughs> it's not the room I'm in <laughs> so if she goes in the tag like that and she rests her pretty little slim legs you coo you can go right off foot can't you <laughs> her slim legs on there when we close that book up then oh, you can see if we do it that yeah. way around you can see that she can be popping 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 out from there which kind of disguises that one does I that make it. sense it does oh, Charmaine, that looks amazing it's quite cool isn't she? I love it. so just a little bit of glue how are we doing with time um down to the last minute right i'll glue her legs on <laughs> <laughs> get her legs glued on and then what i'm going to do in the break is i'm going to die cut um some more pockets for down at the bottom perfect so. and we're back with you at 12 o'clock you are um, so looking forward to um, what the situation will be at that stage i don't know because half the stock has gone of the one day special now so uh, yeah lots of you placing your orders during this night it's been really good to have your company but that's not all from the one day special because we've got more of shows from charmaine 12 o'clock um and also four o'clock this afternoon as well um so yeah take advantage of the one day special while you have the opportunity but look at that that so, so far amazing. we've got a few i mean if we're sat doing it at home Obviously, you're going to be putting in these hinges. We're not going to put the hinges in. If I bring this one in, you can see that this one's got a hinge Just covering up detail, the flaps yeah. there, which hides, hides your sins. So you so take your time and you take enjoy your time it. and keep yeah. building hinges last that's it and don't forget i keep forgetting those little additional bits and pieces like your closures and your corners are included within your one day special as well details on your screen charmaine thank you thank you to her inspirational as always love it um back with charmaine at 12 o'clock now our schedule is a little bit changing today so i'm going to give you a little bit of an idea of what we've got coming up in just a few moments So yes, I've got Pink Fog Crafts coming up straight after the break. Then craft yourself silly with Hayley Smith before we are back with a lovely alley at 11 and stance away. Check out our schedule online to see those changes um, as they are more up to date than your EPG. Stamperia are an Italian company. Uh, they launched in 1995 with stamps, stencils, paints and an incredible product. They're world famous rice paper. They were actually the first company to print on rice paper and they're now absolutely renowned for you. The product range that Stamperia offer is really diverse. They bring us incredible stamps, obviously uh, the world famous rice paper, but they're always trying to bring new techniques as well. So they'll bring different mediums, um, beautiful moulds, so there's always something for every type of crafter. They will definitely have something for you to craft with and everything you craft with will be top quality and beautiful. So make sure you don't miss the Stamperia shows. Hiya, I'm Hazel Eaton from Pink Frog. Pink Frog is an established company. You may have seen us in shows up and down the country. Um, it's a family-run business up in Chesterfield. Pink Frog started to bring out their well-known Britannia dyes, and then we moved on to a wonderful range of card stocks. You'll probably know us by our super smooth card stock. And now we have moved into the world of stamping and we produce high quality polymer stamps for you all to enjoy. We have a wide range of designs and we're particularly known for our flower dyes and flower stamps. Make sure you don't miss the Pink Frog shows. Hi, I'm Lou from Studio Light. Studio Light has been around for about 40 years now. They're based in the Netherlands. It's a family-run business with a great heritage. The products that Studio Light bring us are very diverse, fantastic dyes, great papers, 
but all round on trend. Over the 40 years Studio Light have evolved, they listen to me, the demonstrator, and you, the customers, and really take our ideas on board. We'll share with you the diverse techniques and products will inspire you to produce your own individual pieces of artwork. So make sure you don't miss the Studio Light shows. I think Charmaine's just made it onto our highlight reel, blooper reel here at um, the craft store. We just see him try and exit the window. Uh, right, now we have got, not the window, the studio. Uh, she went out the window. Now we've got a fantastic hour ahead with Pink Frog and the lovely Hazel. How are you doing, Hazel? I'm good, thank you. You? Very well. Hazel, you are a crafter through and through. I love it because even just like when we were prepping for um, this show, the ideas you're coming with. And the thing with Pink Frog, they specialise in in card stock yeah but i love the innovations that come through i mean going through the card sizes and that's something that uh, pink frog really do distinguish themselves amongst others absolutely and the idea is is to try and create as little waste as possible yeah. and give the education because if we just sold you the card you'd, you'd watch me demo you'd get it home and you'd be like now what did she score and you'd have to keep with it. but having that sheet come in with the um the card is Perfect. And with these, you're able to create such fantastic folds and uh, speci specialist card blanks. No cutting. This is a brand new size. Tell us about the size, Hazel. Okay, so this is the 12 by 36. We've got it in super smooth there. So you get 100 sheets, you get your scoring sheet with 10 folds on it. Mm -hmm. So this is kind of a landscape version of a 5 by 7 card equivalent. So a few weeks ago, we bought out an 18 by 24. I get confused with all these sizes yeah. now. Um, and that was the portrait version. Yeah. So yeah. if I said to you it's like a mini, a baby 15 by 42, yeah. I think that's the best way of explaining it because yeah. you can really visualize the, um, if you've, you've got some of the samples yeah. there. But like being able to make your inverted steppers. Um, oh, that's nice. So it gives you that panel in the middle, just to give you an idea of size, is like eight centimeters by 18. Yeah. Um, so it's quite a nice, it will fit in your five by seven envelope there. And the beauty is, because it is a super smooth cardstock, you yeah. know the quality that you're getting here, how everything, you say, oh, sorry, it's an easel. It, yeah. There easel. we go. Yeah. So, I mean, super smooth, it, it's got so many geysers to it. Obviously, it stamps beautifully, yeah. it blends beautifully, we can throw water at it, we can do so many techniques, it, and it is 300 GSM too. It is, and so it's great for construction, but it's one of them card stocks that if you could only have one card stock in the world, I think it would need to be that one, because you yeah. can do so much on it. It is an absolute catch-all. Now, we are getting busy for this, a brand new size, 100 sheets in total, 11.99 is your price, and the beauty is, there is no cutting here. No. You're getting straight to it, and you are going to be getting a sheet that gives you 10 folds straight out of the box. So uh, you'll be able to make 10 original cards uh, blanks with those 100 sheets, so the designs, I should say. Uh, right, that's our first option for you. Super Smooth is amazing. We don't need to tell you about the virtue of Super Smooth because it's already popular, uh, always popular, I should say. But this is a brand new size, and if you want to get hold of it, your item number is 708847. You've kind of given us such great options here because <laughs> the super smooth is amazing yep. uh, the pink frog watercolor is incredible too it is incredible and this is the first time we've gone we've we've done watercolor in the 15 by 30 but to take it to the tw 12 look at that. <laughs> 12 by 36 yeah. it's you know it it gives you the options to spray and do all yeah. of your techniques on top of it and i'm looking around for a card um Thinking. I can't remember where I put it, but I literally chucked everything at it. I put sprays on it, and then I constructed. Um, it might be in that pile as you go down, but that's okay. got some interesting techniques on there. Um, and Claire's done that one. And that shows you, look, effectively two very easy scores, yeah. and suddenly you've just got a beautiful card. Yeah. Or how about I'm going to try and I'll try and find the one that you're talking about, Hazel. I think it's about two more down after okay. that one. Well, so again, you you've got one. your pop out. Love the, I mean, I love that. It is yeah. 280 GSM. Oh, wait, is this the one? Next the one? next one. Okay, wait a second. Okay, so this, this is sprayed front and back uh -huh. um, with wow. Wink Vibe sprays. So they're a dye-based spray, 
but you can just, you know, you can stamp onto it, you can spray it, you can heat emboss. We have actually... That is, that's, oh, sorry, guys. I'm that's just incredible. Um, Look at that. That's, that's a really nice inspiration. So what you're getting here is the ability with the watercolour cardstock, I mean, good weight to it, being yeah. 230 GSM. Yeah. But Hazel showing here, you can do absolutely anything with this. Actually, I've got some boards I just want to share with you. Um, this is good. So this really shows you the different techniques. So talk us through some of these then, Hazel. Well, these are brand new boards, and I have to thank Claire very, very much, Lee. She's sunning herself on holiday, but she did the boards before she went, which was brilliant. So you can get that gorgeous torn technique on the edge there. You can right. see the texture in the watercolour, but it doesn't stop you from getting that nice crisp stamping onto it there. Pencils, yeah, pens. pens. You could do your wet water brush techniques. Oh, beautiful colour washes yeah. there. There's so many, like Je whether you plates. like your um, embossing folders, your jelly plates, just using it as a card, card blank. Yeah. To me, it looks expensive. It looks quality. I love using yeah. watercolour as a card blank. So wet ink uh, pickups are just yeah. literally on your mat and just picking that up, a mop-up technique. Yeah. Texture paste coming through, how good do they look? Not so well. There's a lot going on here. There is lots. You don't have to show them all. It's just to give you an idea. No, I'll show I won't go through them, but just show you. That's uh, another eight techniques. Yes. There's one, which one um, Charlotte, my producer, was like, look at this. So oh, that, bee, that the, bumblebee yeah. is hand watercolour painted by Caroline, one of our design girls. That's lovely. Embossing folders as well. I mean, there's a lot going on there. You've got your embossing folders too. <laughs> <laughs> and then down here we've got our drip technique. Oh, we all like to dribble. Oh, yeah. Oh. We'll, we'll <laughs> <laughs> Hazel, Sorry, it just happens. Right. Listen, you're a crafter. <laughs> we're, 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 I like it. Bit to. of a dribble, nothing wrong with that technique. Uh, and then here, we've got more as well. Oh, look at that. that. That's interesting. Crumpled paper effect. Oh, I love, yeah. Oof. Really effective, isn't it? Like real yeah. old leather. Heated, Heated embossing. I mean, this is all on watercolour cardstock. Yeah. And it is, I know we've got to move on, but you've got to think, we were talking about the versatility of the super smooth. Mm. The watercolour cardstock is just as versatile. Fourteen ninety nine is your price there. Five two eight one seven seven your item number, and you are getting 50 sheets. Okay. Now, we're back to the super smooth, and we're back to an original size. Am I right in saying we haven't seen this size before, Hazel? It's been on once before. Okay, sorry. So this is 18 by 24, and yeah. it's equivalent to a 5 by 7 card again, but yeah. portrait way. Perfect. So on this one where you have a gatefold, it would look completely different to the gatefold on the 12 by 36. And you're getting a hundred sheets. Yeah. It's a good size uh, to this. And just showing you here, so there is a gatefold, but it does look different, obviously working off of um, a different, you sort of drive it as portrait, whereas the other side is uh, more of a landscape. But how stunning is that? Oh, and then we can do something like this. Let's just show you. Now that's interesting. How did you do this one, Hazel? So that one was with, um, I made a little frame to go on a half fold. Right. Um, the instructions to make that frame come with the 10 and a half by 30s. It was just an additional little okay. size that I put on there. Lovely. Um, but yeah, you've got that's a little easel card. But you can see how it's completely the other way round. So you can get so many more looks. Yeah. So it, you're not kind of repeating the same old. With all the options you are getting, so whether it's this option or the two previous ones, yeah, we're going to get, get the, your sheet. Yeah, the sheet, and it's got a list of the ten uh, score lines, eleven uh, score folds for it. Uh, eleven ninety nine, your price six five one three five six item number. Now you can shop ahead. There's lots on our website, so let's jump onto the website and see everything uh, that we have to explore. Five star reviews as well, and Pink Frog deserve every one of those stars. They really do, a fantastic company. We've got stamps as well, some gorgeous stamps. Again, five star review, five star review, five star review. And once you see Hazel playing, you'll realize why Pink Frog has been given all of those five stars. Um, we've got um, some glues for you as well. It's the EVA glue. Now this has been a, a bit of a revelation. So many people have jumped over to the EVA. I'm um, just gonna show you the EVA. I've got a bottle. So that's your EVA, it's a natural pH adhesive. That's really important because Hazel, you were telling me for scrapbooking, for archival, uh, you can use this for your book binding in there as well. I've got, I'm so sorry, Chris. 
I'm not, I don't know, I'm, I'm making life so hard for Chris recently. We worked together. I don't know why, dude. Um, so let me just show you a board, because you created this board. I did create that board, because and... <laughs> you see that shiny bit there, that little yeah. square, that's mirror board. Now, usually, when you glue behind mirror board with a wet glue like a PVA, yeah. you will see wiggly lines. Oh. So with the EVA, you don't, you don't because it hasn't got that content of water in. That's perfect. And with the, I mean, I've worked with a little bit with the glue, and one thing stood out, no odour to yep. this as well. Yep. Uh, so we perfect our matting, our layering. It, it was really quick grab. It is a quick grab, and you can stick a number of things. So there's a glass bottle on there. If you pick the board up f using the glass bottle... OK. Um, I'll hold it. Just hold... There you go. Yeah, you can turn it the other way. It won't... It, it's solid. Obviously, don't really shake it, because we'd look stupid yeah, if it fell off. off. No, but that is, it, I mean, it is solid. No, but and you've got metal on there, you've yeah. got glass beads. Don't ask me why we've got a makeup sponge on there. <laughs> I just was looking for stuff to fill up the board, why and not? that's what I came across. That but, little bit of red rope down yeah. there, oh, yeah. stuck solid. It's great for our ribbons. There's a tiny strip it. of acetate going down the side by the makeup. Yep, yeah, it sticks solid. Oh, you've right. got metal, you've got hessian. <laughs> You've got chipboard and grey board and ribbons. It, it won't yellow. No, and it's flexible as well. Oh, now, this is a really important yeah. point, because have you ever been in a situation where you've used a glue and over time um, it's got brittle and kind of then the glue breaks? Uh, this, it still keeps the flexibility Absolutely, and it yes. doesn't go brittle over time. No, yeah. no. And it is archival and it was actually designed for bookbinding. I will just show you EVA glue, whenever we feature it, it absolutely flies. It is a very, very good glue. And we don't even need to water it down no, as well. It's no, no, it's a consistency. perfect consistency for our glue yeah. bottles. Thirteen ninety nine is your price. Uh, five three eight four four two item number. Just want to mention the non clog glue, glue bottles that work so well with the EVA. We were just describing it. So we have got these. We're going to show you a picture of your. Uh, these are brilliant, by the way. The non clog, because every crafter, every crafter, without expe exception, if you're a paper crafter, can relate to clogged glue bottles. These will uh, prevent that pain. Thirteen ninety nine is your price. Six zero three two eight two your item and number. Okay, uh, what we're going to do now is get to demonstration. We're playing with our brand new sizes. If you do have any questions, please get in touch. Studio at thecraftstore.com. But it is all about the 12 by 36. So what are we going to do, Hazel? Okay, so I'm going to work with an easel card to start off with. But I did want to show you, on the sheet, there's two different styles. So this one is made from a Z fold, but folded the other way over. So that's kind of your traditional easel card. Uh -huh. And then we've got one on there that says easel with no mat. And it starts off like this. And all we do is glue a section and then that comes round and creates the easel. Right. So this one would fit into a five by five envelope. This one would fit into a five by seven envelope. Yeah. So the demo that we're going to start off with, mm -hmm. we'll start off with the 12 by 36 and we're going to go and we're going to put the halfway score in first, which is 18. So this is uh, super smooth? This is a super smooth yeah. one, yeah. And for each hour, I'll do a super smooth and a watercolour demo. I've got to tell you, Hazel, we're yeah. 12 minutes okay. into the show, your first show today. And uh, super smooth, 30% of the stock's gone. Wow. 30%. And you're getting 100 in each pack as well. Uh, Fantastic. So we did that half fold at 18. We're doing one at 12, and then we're going to do one at 24. Okay. So if I break that down, we've got three equal sections, really, of 12, and the middle one we've done in half. Nice. Just depends on which way you want to remember it. And we are getting all the instructions. All the instructions will so come. And in fact, I'm just going to go on to here and show you 12 by 36. Um, I'm just looking down easel. Easel with no map. So it's very simple. Score at 12, 18 and 24, which is what we've done. Perfect. OK, but sometimes if you look at that, you'd look at the piece of card and you'd think, well, what, what, do, what, what's that then? Yeah. <laughs> so it's a visual thing as well. Yeah. And that's why I've gone over it and referred it to the instructions okay. for you. So what I'm going to do is just fold each of those. And then if you pop that bit in in the middle, so that you're getting like um, an M or a W. All right, yeah. And then open one flap up and glue. That down. I'm just going to get my creaser. So that is going to give us our uh, easel. So nice and simply, one little bit of glue, we've, we've not chopped anything Hazel, off. Hazel, that is 
I'm going to say it, the easiest easel card yeah. I think I've ever seen. And that's the beauty with Pink Frog. When they give you these sizes, they're already cut for you. So we're not having to trim down and then measure and do all of that. Literally just three, uh, what, two score, score lines Absolutely. and we're done. That's incredible. Yeah. So we will need a little stopper for the front. So I am actually going to cut this off of another piece. Okay. Normally, I would dip into Your one scraps. of my scrapbook. Yeah. I say scrap boxes, my A5, A6 boxes. Mm -hmm. Um, so I always like to do the stopper halfway, so it's six centimetres. Okay. And then that would go on some of our foam pads. Nice. Well, we have got foam pads, by the way, on the show. Um, so we've got, it's an adhesive foam collection. Let me just show you, because I think we've got some pictures of these. Uh, you're getting an awful lot here. So we're getting, now wait one second, 1,500 foam pads. You're also, and they're 25 metre foam rolls as well. Wow, I will show you the foam roll because I've got it here. <laughs> when we talk about 25 meters, look, that is a jumbo foam roll. Look at this, but they're all on the tabs and they're really nice sizes to these as well. It's funny, I remember doing a show with a guest and they came in with these large foam mm -hmm. pads because they're so easy just to They are, take them you've off. got that easy yeah. lift tab on there. But um, a lot of viewers were saying, where, they're sending emails saying, yeah. where do you get, where do you get from? it from? So, yeah. here we go. And don't forget you can cut into them as well. You don't have to use them um, that size. Yeah. Brilliant. So I'm just going to fold that back and we're going to attach this onto the front. So I'm just going to mm -hmm. line that up. Nice. I can't do it that way. And we do have, because uh, Seven Day Saves are always popular, I know Pink Frog work hard to give us some great deals. Kalal, the one litre, yes. is on as a Seven Day Saver. Uh, we will just flash that for you. One litre for fifteen ninety nine. I mean, look at the saving of £14. Uh, 227-990 item number. Uh, and that something we all do with the large one, I know Pink Frog, a big fan of this, Hazel, decanting. Absolutely. Yeah. If you've got one of the smaller bottles, um, pour it in. perfect for that, yeah. Right, so I'm going to show you what we're going to be making now. Um, we're going to decorate it up like this, and I'm going to use a variety of different mediums on there to give us that gorgeous, sparkly, shiny background. We're going to do some heat embossing, just to show you the capabilities of the Super Smooth. So, this is what I'm aiming for, and I've got one dry so that I can... Um, I don't know if you can see yeah, all of the... See that the sparkle and the, the shine on there. Well, how do you and, do that? It looks great. Well, there's a couple of products, so I will show you, but obviously I've got a dry one that I can yeah. chop up. Okay. Um, I'm going to start off with a Pearly Winks Pearl Mist Glitter Spray. Mm. Um, side to side shake, it, you can... We love um, the Pearly Winks. I can't see. Spray, yes. Yeah. So, I'm going to turn that over just in case I get it. I'm just going to spritz that over my card. Okay. I've got some of this at home, actually. It's very good. And then the winky inkies, mm -hmm. I just love to drip the ink in. Yeah. And this is all I've done to make up the background. Oh, look at that. It's, it just oh, it gets me every time. Love it. I'm not going to go mad because obviously yeah. I know that I'm not going to be able to dry it. Yeah. Um, Showing how but easy literally, it that's as easy as it is to make a background. And I do prefer to leave it to dry on its own okay. because it kind of stays where I want it. Yeah. Um, now, if you do that and you think, well, actually, I wanted it to move, just spritz a bit more and you'll see that that will start to move into each other. Considering that's super smooth, and we, we flooded that. I mean, we, we did. I sprayed like it first. Color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A watercolour paper, yeah. And that will sink flat down. And you can see with this piece, it has actually gone nice and flat. Mm -hmm. um, and I've then added heat onto it because I've um, heat embossed our gorgeous text background stamp. Nice. Uh, from typewriter editions. So Is what it, I'll that's do... That's classy. It's, it's a shame because I can't really hold that up to show you the sparkle. I hope you can see it as much as I can in here. Yeah. Um, but I'm just going to mop that dry. down and I'm going to place it on the floor and just hope it doesn't dribble. Okay. So I'm just going to... Whoopsie. Oh, okay. That sounded heavy, didn't it? There <laughs> <laughs> were 300 GSM. Yes. What you expect? So... From there, then, I just heat embossed. Um, I used my anti-static bag when it was nice and dry, rubbed yeah. it over, and then I stamped up. So I've cut myself some matte and layers. These now, are beautiful colours. This colors. is from the spring set. Now, we've got two options. There's one on the counter with the pencils. Yeah. Um, they're the Staedtler watercolour pencils, which I do use a lot. Um, or you can buy the card on its own. I think yeah. that's on. it's either on the poll or the brand shop. I, I 
didn't check properly. Well, we have got the uh, spring colours and the pencils. Uh, I'm going to be getting to those in just a moment, but you can see beautiful spring colours and you're getting the pencils. And I haven't used the pencils, but I said to Hazel in our production meeting, the first thing I said, are the pencils good? And what was your response? You were Absolutely fantastic, fantastic yeah. yeah. So you are getting those gorgeous pencils and uh, they go over the cardstock. There are some examples of the pencils actually used on the, um, the colored cardstock. A really nice spring, summer-like collection. And that would be perfect for flowers. It you absolutely just want to cut out would, flowers. yeah. Some, I know uh, some crafters, they like to just die cut flowers rather than using pencils or painting them. Just use it quite clean. Just adds another little bit of depth yeah. to it. Lovely. So I've just matte and layered some of the lilac onto the easel card there and I've just reduced my measurements down by half a centimetre. So this is 11 and a half square and then this is five and a half by 11 and a half. Cool. So then we will take our pattern card, which we've made ourselves, which is good. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to kind of, um, let me just see which way up it is. I might have to just... <laughs> Oh, yes, that's better. I'm going to go this way. Um, so this one is going to be 11 square. And I'm going to take the top part of there. And it just depends how the pattern in your card comes out. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to make sure that I've got a nice equal border, which I have. And then so we'll do the section at the bottom, which I said was five and a half. So as easy as that. And I've still got some more left that I can use on another card. So that was um, not right. Six, five and a half, it's five. Hazel, use your brain. Mm -hmm. There you go. Nice. This is looking good, Hazel. So we can attach that on. Again, I'm going to opt for my EVA. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, it's okay. no, you're Do you know what? I, I was aware that I was right on that side and oh, I thought, don't worry, the That's poor fine. cameraman's going to be hating Chris me. Chris will be able to get a shot of any. So again, just give it time, yeah. you know, go round. 